to trailer boys uh for some reason I'm logged out of this so sorry oh god oh I'll ruin it because we were getting like really deep into talking about elden ring and destiny um what's <laughs> up destiny. everybody don't tell them that's why we relate <laughs> no that's why we relate we were like oh shit oh well, look at the time we we're it's talking big, too much about big week of video games yeah and holy shit, Observatron! What's up? It's all my friends. All my friends hey. hanging out in the same place. Um, oh, wait. I got to... My focus nut. But, all right. Um, welcome to Trailer Boys, the sh only show where trailers are the show. I don't know if that's true. It just sounded like something they say on shows. Um... The only show where my focus isn't working great. Uh, you could turn off. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I'll I'm turn gonna... turn off the auto. Yeah, no, I'll do it. I'll do it. Uh, but I'm also explaining the show to people. All right, so this show is a show where we watch trailers. How, where do we find the trailers? We find the trailers from you. You submit them, not in chat. Get the fuck out of here with that chat. You submit them to. Misery loves us. It says it right there at the top of the screen. What in the bottom? Uh, and no, it, it doesn't say it at the bottom. Well, in the title. Oh, oh, oh. in the title of the screen. Uh, and you also um, you can submit them there. the The trailers are on a theme. We give you a theme, a different theme every week. So uh, if you're on theme, we'll give you points based on like how good, how much we like the experience of watching your trailer. How do we figure out those points? I don't know. We just fucking guess. Uh, <laughs> and you also vote. Do you have the Do you have the uh, the graphic that I created for this? You also vote, and based on your votes, we. Uh, also give it points. This is the, the Gooby point system. Uh, I gotta make a better graphic. This is pretty, pretty good, good though. Uh, I made it in like two seconds. Uh, zero. If you get, if, if your trailer gets zero to 25% uh, of the votes saying yes, you'll get a total of zero points from the chat. If you get 25 to 50, you get one point. 50 to 75, two, 75 to 100, three points. We both can give the the trailer uh, one or two points uh, or three. No, no, two with zero, zero, yeah. <laughs> uh, or we can we can uh, uh, put our medallions together, our powers combined. We can give it an extra bonus point. Uh, cool. Man, I have been going since I had class at noon. First Sunday class today at noon. Yeah, you're crazy uh, busy right now, aren't you? And then I coached a sketch group, and then now I'm here. Damn. Uh, and you have a I Tuesday never, and a Sunday now, right? Tuesday and a Sunday. Uh, and I also I ran 10 miles yesterday. Cool. Oh, I'm going to say this now just to get it out there. Um, in two weeks, the LA Marathon, I was like, hey, I could run the, the LA Half Marathon. Um, I think next year, I'm, I, fuck that. Next year, I'm going to run the LA Marathon. No, I think I am going to, because I'm. Um, you got a sound drop for that? Does, is that in the right channel? Wait, let me. Did that sound like something? No. Nah. All right. Hold on. Give me one more second. There we go. There we hey, Sam's running the LA Marathon next year. Next year. <laughs> Uh, I can even give us some a little background music. 
So next oh, year, nice. I'm gonna uh, run the LA Marathon. And uh, I'll tell you this also, a lot of us live in cities and or places where they have marathons and, and you see, you know, you're like going somewhere and you're like, oh fuck, I have to, it has to take a little bit longer for me to get somewhere because of this marathon. Well, guess what? Those people are raising a shit ton of money for charities. Like each of those people, like at least at minimum, is raising a hundred dollars for a charity because for LA that's part of your your entry. But a lot of them are running are raising thousands of dollars. So if you see thousands of people raising, that's amazing. So take that into consideration next time you get all pissy about a marathon. I just don't like to be inconvenienced minorly. Yeah, you know what? You know what doesn't what people don't like too? Cancer. Uh, uh, yeah. So, ever have that problem because they tend to run marathons in the morning and I sleep. Uh, Last sleep. time I went to a marathon, there was a bombing. Oh, true. True. That was that was crazy. That doesn't happen all the time. That was unique. Do you think our, our generation? I mean, I guess this is stupid. I think every generation experiences a lot of history, but like our generation has experienced a lot of history, like <laughs> more so like than these fucking Gen Xers, you know, I guess you're Gen X, but like, you know, you think of a, a, a young Gen X, an older millennial. I, I think we're kind of like in that in between. Think about like the people who are like in college in the 90s, like. Those 90s must have been pretty sweet, huh? Yeah, it was a slow time. Pretty slow time. Pretty not not a lot going on. Just chilling. Like Operation yeah. Desert Shield and Desert Storm seems pretty yeah, boring yeah. in comparison, right? Saving the whales, you know. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, RHD totally sucks. Says Nate sucks. Well, fuck you. Don't talk about my brother that way. Um, <laughs> was that you? Are you RHD totally sucks? Me. <laughs> Sam so, stuck up for uh, me. I love that. Um, by the way, I just want to point out also before we get sidetracked, I got the mustache going on. I got traditional trailer boy, like all the logos are accurate now. Uh, because I messed up shaving, and sometimes you just gotta <laughs> that does happen. Uh, but I like I, it. I like it. That's why I go in with scissors now, because it's so light, but it takes a really long time. I only do scissors. I don't do the trimmer anymore. Um, Sam, okay. have you seen oh, the leaderboard? Yeah. Whoa, Grimward. Gifted yeah, five board. subs. What? I've got, a suge I've got a suggestion, too. Let me see the leaderboard. All right. Oh, Grimworld. Oh, wow. Grimward. Grim word. Grim world. I will always say Grim world. All right, so Nate, you're, you're blocking it just a little bit. Um, it's the top five. We should have the leaderboard be the top ten. Yeah, I, I, I don't know how I did this. I looked this up. This is like live updating from the spreadsheet. Uh, okay. and I don't know how I did it. <laughs> I'll have All to right. look it up again. I, I was just say, yeah, I would it say that I because like the important the important places are the top eight. Because Flanja, who could hit a hundred in the next couple weeks and run away with the season, uh, you know, at a hundred we're gonna go into the Tournament of Champions, the second annual Tournament of Champions, uh, and that's a tournament of eight. Correct? Eight? We're doing eight? I feel like we did ten, but I know that was also a thing of contention. Does I mix remember? What happened that you deleted the stuff? Oh, okay. So, there was a little drama right after the last show last week where the spreadsheet 
I had broke something. Because the spreadsheet was made by a crazy saxophonist, Spreadsheet Master. There's a lot of spreadsheets connecting to spreadsheets, connecting to the website, uh, and the points all goes into the same thing. So there's a lot of, like, things. And I must have accidentally hit something, and what happened is it deleted all the context. So you'll see, like, the first 10 or so trailers have no context. We mute the music, okay. something's happening. Let's see if it's still happening. No, it's not happening. All right, so um, now yeah, it was something like it was it was dimming out while I was talking. Uh, so, oh, Lobaka says we did ten um, <laughs> to get twenty uh-huh. minutes of you guys trying to figure out the system as you go. <laughs> oh, Frank Alley's rating. Hey, uh-huh. Frank Alley. Don't bust nuts. Don't bust nuts. Um, I will say this. Uh, <laughs> oh, Frank Halley's rating. <laughs> Is that you busting a nut? Don't bust nuts. I busted a nut. I, I do hear a lot of people will be like, you know what? I don't. I've only joined Twitch to watch whitest kid stuff i don't i'm not really into video games i would say check out frank howley's channel it's really funny there are some video games but uh it's it's a more entertaining channel than just somebody playing games uh frank was actually playing gran turismo today the new one and i know that is is a sam game how is it 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 looked really fucking cool yeah i want to play it i am deep into elden ring right now it's a big, big week for video games. You want to play it? Uh, RHD yeah. totally. What is RHD? Red hot dilly peppers. Red hot dick. Some of that. Red dick hot. totally sucks. Elden Ring is so fucking good. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, also, the the reason the lot the lot of the VODs are delayed is because I've also been playing video games instead of like editing videos. So, you know, yeah. hey, what up, Schwingies? So Schwingles was also in the group of people that I fucked accidentally by breaking that thing. So there are going to be a list of people that have no context, so it's just blind. Right. <laughs> and a list of people I figuratively fucked over, not had sexual with. Not literally uh, fun. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Frank is doing a D&D campaign. Did you know that, Sam? With um, a guy that you've rated before. Um, I forget what his name is. He's got a beard, and he played Mega Man a lot. His name's Spencer. Spencer? Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Do you know him? Yeah. Okay. So, um, that guy. My friend Callie's roommate. The Sixler. The Sixler, <laughs> yes. So he's, no, no, DM. Uh, he's the DM. He's the DM. And um, <laughs> the characters are great. Uh, I would say Frank's character <laughs> is Wario Spawn. That's all I need to know. So it's Wario Spawn. That's good. Frank, who, who are you? Oh, Wario Spawn. Oh, that's like my uh, gamer tag, Stewie Deadpool. Yeah. <laughs> We should Which get like, into um, a, a Fortnite stream with Frank sometime. Uh, your original. Uh, Frank, uh, who are you playing with? Besides Spencer, anyone I know? Or Brian. Part of your crew? 2-Day. Two 2-D two Day. In chat, I just saw. Audrey in chat. Oh. Um... Okay, so let me go over the leaderboard again real quick. So again, we came up with an arbitrary rule that like, once somebody hits 100 points, season's over and we start the tournament. So Flanja is kind of running away with it, but Flanja has been taking their time. I've seen them like take some weeks off. And then everything else is pretty tight. So I'll go on to the six, I'll, I'll read them out to you. So number six, Punished Anus is at 40 points. So right below Big Row by one. And then tied with Punished Anus is Lobaka with 40 points. Grimward in eighth, 37 points, still really close. 
Avalanche fan, 35 points. Niamix in 10th place at 32 points. But you see this, it's like not even a whole 10 points from 5th place. So it's pretty tight, except this guy, Manchester City. Same, did you see the soccer game today? It was awful. <laughs> no, I didn't. Who was it? Was it? Poor Man Manchester U. United. Man U, Man destroyed Man by Man City. Yeah, it was a derby today. Uh, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? We got to get Celt- rid of Harry Kane. Celtics are really good. Mm. Marcus Smart looked great today. Did they win? I don't know. I had to leave before. Um, do uh-huh. you want to see last week's trailer? Yes. Okay. I and would love what I, what I want from they the won. chat. What, what? They won. They played the Nets with Kyrie and Kevin Durant, like a healthy Nets team, and they beat them by six. There you go. And they were, they were trailing by one in the fourth quarter. Sam and I went to a game on Christmas Day. Was it Christmas Day? Fun, yeah. And it was like, I mean, it wasn't courtside. Like, we weren't sitting right on the court, but we were like, it was like players, like the agents, and then us. That wasn't Christmas Day. Okay. But it was around Christmas. That was around Christmas. We also went on Christmas Day. And we didn't sit so close, but like it was a really good game. They were really good seats though too. But yeah, that, when was, it, that oh, was pretty fun. I think did the, the, the Celtics won that game, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. they beat the Seventy Sixers. That was fun. We got to yell out to Taco Fall. He was so close, and he looked at us and he acknowledged us. And he said, "You guys." Yeah. So. And he said, "You guys should host a show about trailers." And that's you know our secret origin story. You know what? Maybe we should. Yeah, that's how uh, it's happened. This is boring. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, Tazu. So we're going to watch a trailer. What I want from you guys is to let us know if you can hear us. Uh, give me a sec. I just want to make sure that the audio doesn't drop off. Cancel the show. Your instrument of death. Your phone. I'm kind of getting it, right? Are you kind of getting it? Hello? By the year 2000, there will be 1.4... How does this feel? Is it silent? Oh, you're not getting anything, are you? Sounds pretty off the wall to me. I mean, a telephone killing people. I've told you nothing but facts, Stanley. If there was anything going on, I'd be the first to know about it. Nymix. Now All right, now we're, now we're back in business. And it's not it's dipping. You can hear us talking. Telephone killed the girl. Now Sam talk. Check, check. I'll call I you. Think we're, I think Ring we're good. Hang up and ring again. All right. Fuck it. <laughs> The show's been on for three hours, and we haven't watched a single video. All right, Sam, do you have coming a trailer? We're fucking doing. That's a fucking video. Is that not a fucking video? This is last week's video. Yeah, but we've watched a video. Technically, yes. Oh, somebody call the cops! This guy's crazy! Call the cops! I, this is a perfect segue into what this week's trailers are about. A madman pushes Which a button and kills by phone. Technology when gone you wrong. Answer murder by phone. Did you choose the coming attractions based on the theme? No. Okay. Do you have coming attractions? Actually, I mean, oh. no. Not not in it. Uh, uh, Can you get ones uh, in chat if you saw Batman this week? Drop a one in chat if you saw Batman. Uh, I saw it. Did um, you see it, Sam? No, I did not see it. No spoilers. Um. All right, you re- you ready for? Yeah. 
What did I think? I'll say this. I, when I see a movie, I like to see it early because people are like, it's good. I, it throws me off. So I don't like any hype on it. So I won't hype it to anybody. So I'm not going to say what if, you know, I'm going to give it a bit. Okay, you ready? Yes. I don't like this already. There were six of these? There were five before this? Okay. Now that we've watched that, um... I wish they would make a sequel to Evolution with David Duchovny. Is that a fake trailer? <laughs> Question. We're almost at the nest. Wait, is the movie called The Bubble or Cliff Beast? Sounds like a baby crying for its mama. Now that was a great take. Welcome to the start of production of Cliff Beast 6. Peter Thank you for joining us in our bubble. Please make sure you're wearing proper PPE. Physical touch is of course off the table. <laughs> so I would recommend making sweet eyes at each other. I'll show you what that looks like. This is so exciting. It's like my movie posters have come to life. You will soon learn to hate these people. We are one of two movies in production right now. If we fail, the studio is going to go down. I'm not a magician. I know you're not a fucking magician. If you were a fucking magician, you'd pull a movie out of your ass. Oh my God, it's Minnie Driver. Oh, I love her. This movie is going to make the world forget about all their problems. Yeah! What we're doing is edgy. Yeah! It's real. Crystal just did a fucking TikTok with a dinosaur. Hey guys, I don't feel so good. Some of you tested positive for influenza. Lauren! <laughs> Think something's up with Lauren. Which is the good virus? <laughs> Should we be concerned about, you know, this level of vomit? There's some really crazy shit going down on the Cliffy set right now. Hey Gunther, why do you look like Benedict Cumberbatch right now? Hello, I'm Doctor Strange. Oh my God. I don't like it. Stop being Benedict Cumberbatch. Oh, I'm a big bag hunter with the bow. She got a big bed, never drop a low. Mama called me. They're keeping us here against our will. There's been a breach. I don't really ever want to talk, talk, talk. Send help! Oh, oh, Shit is getting real on Cliff Beasts. Are you nervous to meet the dinosaurs? Mom, they're not real. I thought there was an elephant wearing a mask or something. I appreciate the, the uh, kind of fake trailer to promote the movie. Move. I haven't seen that in a while. I think that's kind of fun. Doesn't look great. Yeah. Uh. Funny that that he's that. Judd Apatow's other daughters like. I feel like that's very much because of Euphoria's fame. Everyone's like, yeah, let's get the other daughter in here. I mean, if you were a. 
you know, I mean, let's say, let's flash forward 20 years and you have a 20 year old son and, and you're making a movie. Of course you're going to be like, Hey, you want to be in my fucking movie? Let's go. Yeah. But I mean, there's more than like just Judd Apatow. I mean, he does have pull, but you're going to be like, Hey, my daughter's in this. Fuck you if you don't think she's in this. I don't know. What other directors have put their kids in their movies? All of them. Really? I mean, most of them. I just watched um, Licorice Pizza. Is that what it's called? Licorice Pizza? Yeah. And Steven Spielberg's daughter was in that. That had like a bunch of, like Leonardo DiCaprio's dad was in it. Um, I really didn't like that movie. Yeah, I, I, you know, people flipped out about it. Uh, I wasn't too crazy about it. I, I thought it was like, okay. But like, I thought like, uh, it was kind of in a similar space to like punch drunk love where it's like Paul Thomas Anderson doing a, a like a, a, like romantic kind of movie. I like love Punch Drunk Love, love though. That's yeah, no, no. That's what I'm is I think P- Punch Drunk Love was a much better version of West of uh, not Wes Anderson of Paul Thomas Anderson doing a movie that at its core is a romance. I think Chat is with me on this. What do you mean? I don't think Chat liked it either. I did I, like Cooper Hoffman. I thought he. I would. I would. I would like to see him in more movies. Wait, did I say I liked it? No. 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 I. I've. All right. I think Chad is with what? us. Let's say. Yeah. <laughs> I like that you're like. Uh, I don't know, Sam. Chad agrees with me. All right. One more. One more. Quick trailer. This one's a pretty good one. Trailer, trailer. Hi. There's a gun on you. It's the quiet car. Got to use your small inside voice in here, son. There's a gun. Talk to me. I am ready. You are getting the new and improved me. Because if you put peace out in the world, you get peace back. I think you might be forgetting what you do for a living. Take the gun. Every job I do, somebody dies. I'm not that guy anymore. Some conflicts require a gun. Hey, this is nice. Okay, what am I snatching and or grabbing? A briefcase. You said you wanted simple for your first job back. It doesn't get simpler. You stab me? Yeah! Was that his daughter from Moneyball? Oh, yeah. When you're alive, the way you're in mine. Dude, I don't even know you. Is that bad, Bunny? Is it? simple about this job. Kind of looks like There's something else going on here. Yeah, I'm not the only one on this train looking for this case. Evan, mm. where's the briefcase? Oh, it's not shit. It was just here. We are right on the table. Everything that's ever happened to you. This is gonna sting, bitch! Whoa! Has led you here. Fate. That's a shit deal. Oh, no, thank you. You know what? Do you have um, anything sparkling? That's the one. Thank you. Domo arigato. You sure you want to talk this out? Not particularly, no. Uh, okay. Exclusively in cinemas. You know how I say, like, movies are too long and that's why we do trailers? 
<laughs> that trailer. Some trailers are too long. <laughs> All right. I got it. I got it. Did you, no, of the two so far, I like that one better. Uh, but it, it's this is kind of precious. I think, it, I mean, like, I think it could be fun. I think Punish Wallers is that I'm, I'm in the same place. I'd watch there. it. <clears throat> Do you think- it's an action movie that's not part of a franchise. Uh, that was fun. Is Brian Tyree Henry British? Is it Brian Henry Tyree? Brian Tyree Henry from Atlanta? Okay. Do you have another one? Um, I did uh, see another one. I haven't watched it yet, though. Uh, Cliff it, Beasts wasn't the name of the movie. It was the bubble. The bubble. 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 Uh, this one, I haven't seen anything about this. Just... As a name that kind of like, oh, this could be interesting. Ready? Yes. I've been here. Tuckerman's Ravine. Is she hiking Tuckerman's? I don't like you going up there alone. You know what day it is. Friday. Keep her in therapy, and mountains always listen and never talk back. Watch the weather. I will. Hey, see anyone else up there? No, it's just us. This storm's too big. I'm not gonna make it. I have to turn back. See you soon, bitch! What the? Hello there! Hey! That's not good. <gasps> My name's Pam, and I'm gonna get you out of here. What's your name? John, I'm gonna call you John. Can you hear my voice? Damn it, John! I'm not leaving you! We're not gonna make it. We need to move! Come on, man. I wanna go home. Save the tears. If we don't get moving, we're dead. See that down there, John? I would see that. Of, yeah, I'd, of I'd see the three, I would see that. Have you done? Have you done Mount Washington? Uh, I've done one of those mountains on like the Kangamangas Highway. Mount Washington's crazy, but I don't. I mean, I did it in the summer when I was like thirteen, and I remember like I was with some friends, and it was just random. Like we weren't like prepping for it. We're just like let's let's do Mount Washington. So we did a trail called Lion's Head. I think it's Tuckerman's is like the really hard one that looked like she was doing. And we did Lion's Head. Here's here's how we prepared as like thirteen year olds. We had like Entenmann's like fruit pies. Like we each had one, and then like a bottle of Gatorade, right? And we just went hiked. I think we were wearing like jeans and stuff or passing people with like the full hiking gear. <laughs> and I just remember like at one point being like, I really don't want to care. Like we didn't have bags. We were just carrying like a fruit yeah. pie, and, like a Gatorade. But at a certain point I was just like, I don't want to carry this stuff anymore. <laughs> I like put it down. Uh, it was really dumb. And then like the trees get smaller and then you're in like the rocks and everything's foggy and you're like, Oh, it's really cold. It was like summertime when you cut through the trees into the mountain part. It's like, 
you're wearing like a t-shirt and jeans and you're an idiot kid and then the rocks are painted like go this way and then we went off the edge and i just remember like looking down like you know an immeasurable amount of distance down a cliff to like a, a lake and i just remember thinking like oh this is how people die (laughs) <laughs> like going way off the trail and then um right before i get to the top where the observatory is i slipped and wrecked my knee and then I had to take the train down but yeah it uh <laughs> punish Waller says i remember doing my watch use at 14 about an extra large bag of potato chips and a two liter mountain dew yeah that's pretty much exactly what we were doing. It was, it was very funny. But we're, like, passing people who are probably, like, younger than me now, but, like, adults, like, with walking, like like Naomi Watts in that movie. And we're like, eh, you know, whatever. We're, we're going to figure it out. And we did. And I'm here. And I lived. <laughs> they all died, though. They overprepared. Got too confident. They all died. Okay. Do you want to start the show? Yeah, let's start the show. Uh, I forget how to do that. No, do you want to pick a? I can start it off. I have some picked. Or do you have one? Um, do we have to add more rows? Why are we out of rows? Yeah, I mean. Someone submit something? Is it gonna? There, I just hit a button that said "Add one thousand more rows." Well, hope we didn't run out of rows, and then like people were submitting. And I don't know, man. I, it right. is possible. It is possible. I have broken this thing before. Um. Okay. All right. Do you want me to pick one? Yes, please. Um. And the theme this week was uh, technology gone wrong slash phones. Right. Yep. Um. Also, I'll point out this. We got a lot more phone submissions than I thought we would. Like, we have a whole show of just phone submissions. And the funny thing is, that's what you originally wanted it to be. And I was like, there's not enough movie about phones. I was wrong. Is that Sharon Sossaman? That's not my ringtone. You have one new message. <laughs> That's your voice. That's you. Dying. Oh. How could you tell? <laughs> I've heard you scream before. Ever since that bizarre phone call, I keep seeing things. Leanne got a phone call, and so did Shelly, right before they died. Look at those eyebrows. A girl's right. There's got to be some kind of connection. Ed Burns, huh? It's like you get a voicemail. Call came in two nights ago. You hear your death. They get in your head, Beth. And then you die. Look, these things work here. They get in your head, Beth. How do you think he died? I'll keep you safe. By dropping a marble? People call. Stroke. We're not home. This girl needs protection. Everybody seems to be linked together somehow. We could trace it back to the source. This is a remake? I know who started this. Martha says the ringtone from the original is way scarier. What's the original called? (laughs) Direct Ricks says, I hope this movie is called The Car's Extended Warranty.
It's a good trailer. <laughs> yeah. I remember 2008. Did anyone submit Chikushin Ari? I think as a trailer, this is good. Like, this is like in the strike zone of what we're talking about here, guys. Um, who was phone? <laughs> No, wait, is, is her plan at some point, like, not picking up? I think she pulls the battery out and throws it on the couch, and then, like, it rings anyway. So, who knows? Um, I put the you poll up. Messages. I mean, most people don't. Yeah. who <laughs> Whose voicemail box is not full? Just don't delete that shit. Um, I'm, that sure was a phone movie. It was. I liked it I, as a trailer, as a thriller trailer. It was great. Like if you were like making a spoof trailer, that was a like if you were like that's not a real movie, that's a spoof. I'd be like crushed it, you know, because it's it hits all those notes, and especially for that time, it is like a, a thriller movie, you know, like. Um, you you want to hear a quick uh, Trevor story? Of course. Chat, not so much, but I do. All right. Um, I think you might already know this, but um, Trevor, when you'd call his phone, his <laughs> outgoing message from like a long time ago, from like like 2008 when this movie was yeah, like, like over 10 years. Oh, just text me already. And he just didn't check his voicemail and so his voicemail would like fill up and it would just be get like, oh, just text me already. For the love of God, just text me already. That's what it was. For the love of God, just text me already. Uh, which also is ironic because Trevor wasn't a like crazy texter. He wasn't like he was a guy you would call and talk to on the phone. Like he wasn't like like it wasn't like one of these people that like has full conversations just like you know like I, I'm sure he thought that was silly whenever he saw people like doing that uh, and there was a point where Zach and I we were writing stripes and we were like hey man we have to call you like we have to like call you all the time for work and you don't pick up and then you say, oh, just text me already. And it's obnoxious. Uh, can, do you mind changing it? And he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah I'll change it. Never changed it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, something about him is that he never changed that message. And there was a point where after he died where I realized, like, wow, he did it. <laughs> <laughs> I do like that his voicemail box was always full as well. So you couldn't even leave a message. Yeah. He was the kind of dude where you would text and then he would call you back to reply to the text and you were like, um, I missed what chat voted on that shit. Uh, here, I'll check. I'll check. I'm going to say, here's the thing. I liked it. 60% no. Okay. Somehow. Yeah. Here's the thing. As a trailer, again, we're talking about trailers. Fuck the movie what the movie's about um the trailer hit all the notes uh you know it was like it was silly enough too uh i kind of want to think i, I kind of want to rabbit hole a little bit and, yeah well did you pull it up no no w what was it called marth can you say it again if marth's still here almost almost shakinari chaka I, I feel if i keep trying to guess it's gonna just sound more racist Mar, Mar submitted it. Thank you, Marth. If I try and figure out what this Japanese word is, I assume it's Japanese. All right. Sixty percent no. I am going to give it a point because I think it was worth a point. I'll also give it a point. It's Welsh. Oh, okay. This ain't a Welsh movie. Why? Just because she's Asian doesn't mean she wasn't born and raised in Welshland. Well, they do speak English in Wales. 
世の中の全ての出来事にはからくりがある説明ができない事件なんてないんだよ<笑>ロバーカーズ got a good joke どうしてどうしてうわぁーっ !Her pubic hair got r e a l 着信あり。Jesus。I don't think this added anything. I don't think it added anything, and there was no. Disagree. Really? Yeah.、Okay. I thought that was definitely creepier than the first trailer, and I would、uh, give that one two points personally. Are we voting on this because it was a rabbit hole? Well, I mean, Martha submitted it, right? Yeah, but Martha's also a trailer boy. Okay.、Uh, <laughs> no, let's not vote on it. Fuck him, right? We don't have to give Martha points. He's already won. He's already in the crew. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Fuck you, Martha. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Martha, homie. Martha, yeah, that's the thing is, Martha, it, you don't need the points. You get the credit. You get this. Um, I'm gonna give it a point. Chad gave it 40 yes, which is one point.、Uh, what are you gonna give it? The original the one? No, no, no. The, the Sharon Sossman one. One big, th- one, one big point way out. <laughs> okay. Who submitted that? Um, Sparkle Pony. Sparkle, Sparkle Pony. All right, Sparkle Pony. Three points. All right. Good morning. This is your wake up call. The year is 2021. It is no longer safe to transmit information. Still true. Computers and satellites are all vulnerable. But there、Takeshi、is、Mike? a solution. Oh, b e a t Takeshi. I can carry nearly 80 gigs of data in my head. Input the、gigs. data into the brain、Wait. of a human courier, like Johnny Mnemonic. Hit me. All that in your head anyway. I had to dump a chunk of long term memory. You had to dump a chunk of what? My childhood. What are you doing? Making a long distance phone call. I got the goods, Ralphie. Now I just want to get them out of my head. Now, in a future, we locked on him. Where those who control the information control the world. <laughs> I've been charged with recovering the head of the mnemonic courier. Everyone wants what is stored in Johnny's head. Double cheese anchovies? Charlie! They were waiting for me, Ralphie. Time is running out. I'm a dead man if I don't get this out of my head. If I can get it out. How? A cranial <laughs> drill and a pair of forceps. Well, the future's、Rollins. most wanted fugitive. <laughs> Dump a chunk. He's dropping loads. The end of this movie involves like cyber dolphins、Keanu、or something.、Reeves. You can't shoot me. Not in the head. Johnny Mnemonic. God lives underwater, helmet, KM, FDM, good soundtrack. I liked at the end it was Bono and the Edge. Like,、uh, the, you know, the, the two guys from YouTube were like, yeah, we're not going along with you on this one, guys.、Uh, I loved it. Adam and. It's Adam and. 
Lambert. Adam Clayton. Adam Clayton. Um. Yeah, I, 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 that's like the funnest thing. Larry Mullen Jr. Yeah, thank you. Um, uh, I liked that's it right. as a trailer. Again, I liked it. Techno- I love how it's like eighty gigs in your brain, and it's like, you know, how like much this would- is yeah. like one hundred twenty-eight gigs. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I you could like. It. How do you fit that in your head? Oh, I had to forget my childhood. <laughs> oh, really? Well, that sucks because I remembered all my shit. I just put this in my butthole. <laughs> Wait, why'd you put it in your butthole? I gotta hide it somewhere. What about your pocket? Oh. Uh, <laughs> forgot about pockets. Oh, man. What about... It was my data dump. I thought that's what it was when you. All right. Seventy-seven percent. Yes, that's three points from Chad. It's gonna be one point for me, because it's. Professor Marth just said something that uh, created a great term for a butthole, which is the forbidden pocket. <laughs> it's not that forbidden. Uh, or actually, dir- directionality said buttholes really are the ultimate pocket when you think about it. Okay, I like that. Ultimate pocket. Johnny Colonic. <laughs> Boy, probably says Nate Brown is Johnny Colonic. Yeah, gotta keep it clean. <laughs> <laughs> when I do a data dump, it's like, exactly. Okay, um, I'm giving out a point. I, I, I'm, I'm kind of on a two point thing, but I feel like it didn't wow me. You know, I did like it. Uh, it's silly. It's 90s. Those are in my thing. But there's just something. It's too on the nose. Uh, and I'm not sure. Like, we, we have a lot of trailers submitted where I'm like, are they technology gone bad? This one, I don't know. All right. That was submitted by Sagumist. And so Chad gave you three points. I, that's four points so far. Sam? Two points. I, I really like it. Two points? That's six points from the goo mist. All right, I like uh, this. Okay. Husband. Husband. In everyone's life. Where are you going? To catch the bad guys. There's a moment you meet your destiny. Oh, gosh. Uh-oh. For John Brown. This is when Matthew Modine Rich. killed that, that people is now. in Ireland. We did it. What have they got me on? Concentrate. Okay. They will train him. <laughs> but Claw will try to destroy him. Greetings, Inspector. It was such a bad claw. Yeah. This fall, get ready for the only hero with gizmos of the water. One of his gadgets is a cup of machine guns. Was it really? Disney's Inspector Gadget. This is so weird watching this, and the reason I, I, I picked this one um, is because I've seen that movie before, but it was at the Wellfleet Drive-In, and I was high on ecstasy, and I do not remember seeing that movie. I don't remember one bit of it. I didn't remember Andy Dick was in it. I didn't remember you see Dr. Claw's face. I, uh, yeah. I, you do remember the I, beam of light, though, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. The beam of light that, like, it was, like, super foggy that day. And, like, we are walking around. Is that what you're talking about? Yep. Yeah, we were walking around and, um, the drive-in, and we looked back towards the projector, and there was just a pyramid of light in the air. So foggy. 
I was amazed. Entertained. That was more entertaining to me than Electric Gadget. Um, that movie looked awful. Also, is Penny in the movie? I haven't seen the movie. But like Penny was like the biggest part of the sh- of the cartoon. She was the actual detective because Inspector Gadget couldn't do shit. Um. Yeah. Oh, she is. Someone says Penny is in the movie. Um. All right. That 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 got seventy four percent no, meaning twenty six percent yes. So that got a point. I'm not giving it a point. I'll give it a point. Technology or... didn't go bad. Yeah, it did. His hand that's all the Inspector Gadget's about, is his hands and stuff going haywire. Doing good, right? Yeah, usually it's fucking shit up. Eh. No points for me. How many points? So one we'll point from chat. One nostalgia point. One ecstasy nostalgia point. Yeah, one ecstasy. One flash. Who submitted that? Uh, that was uh, Central Plane. That's two points to Central Plane. Okay. Wait, what was one miscalled? That was. Gave it oh, a point. I, I gave it a point. I kind of feel like giving it a two point, but I'm going to give it a point. I gave a point and Chat gave it one point or two. Chat gave it 60%. I think Chat gave it two points. All right. Now nope. Rabbit Hole the sequel? No. Let's Rabbit Hole better movies. No, I am right. excited because there was right. a movie a lot of people submitted, and then I saw somebody submitted the sequel, and I'm like, ooh. Um, I do think that maybe at the end of the season, instead of doing another sequel round, we'll do a round of movies that are after the second, like whatever that's called. Like a lot of movies have a sequel or a squeakquel, if you're talking about Alvin of the Chipmunks. The, the so-ons? The like, yeah. The so-ons. Let's say that. Okay. Um, ooh, I was going to play this, but it looks really scary. And now I'm scared. <laughs> Our phone, our phones have become essential. Apps keep track of our schedules, our fitness, our love lives. But what if an app could tell you how long? I got 63 years. 57 years. Before you die. I think Tom Segura is in this. What? Two days? This app, it's fake, obviously. My girlfriend said the same thing. Is that the girl from you? It knew. That app said she was gonna die. Whatever is happening to us, I think it's because of this app. I need a new phone. A new phone, new number, new service. That's Tom Segura. Anything else I can help you with? No. Countdown <laughs> app. It's really just a random number with a clock. It's not that scary but it seems like it worked on YouTube clowns. This must be everyone that downloaded the app. My sister, she downloaded it. All we need to do is beat the clock by one second. Have you ever done anything like this before? No, but I've read about it a lot. That guy was was in a... Much worse than death. He's fine. Come with me. Um, it will overwhelm you. Wolf of Wall Street. You're utterly destroyed. Pat, wake up. Yo, are you calling my name? Yeah. 
death. There's an app for that. There's an app for everything these days. <laughs> uh, I feel it was very similar to the other one, right? Oh, yeah. I feel like we're going to see a lot of movies that are kind of like that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh. I love it. Okay. It was like an updated version. What if apps, like, killed you? Hey, you remember the mo- how we saw that movie, like, like 10 years ago, about how, like, someone's voicemail was, like, killing them? What if we did that with apps? Yeah. Yeah. It's like back then they, they just had flip phones. Hi. Now we have smartphones. Hello. Hey. This dog is the cutest. Hey. Where is she? <laughs> ah, she ran away. I just got back. I was away for like four days and the dog totally doesn't remember me. So, invisible dog. Um, I liked it. Again, I'm giving that a point. Uh, again, somebody said, I think Grimward said, it's one of those things where less would have been more. I agree. You know, the, the hand thing at the end in the bed, sure. But they did that a bunch. Uh, I feel they could have cut back on it. Not shown you all the stuff. But yeah. Um, I'll give it a point. Wow, that's another 74%, meaning 26%. That gets one point from chat. One point from me. Sam? Uh, one point. One chat? point from Sam? Hates this one. Chat does not like it. Uh, Avalanche fan getting three points from the trailer, boy. All right, here, I, got I, one. I think this one will be fun. I'm All excited. Right. There's a lot more phone trailers than I expected. So far, I like it. There's a little bit of me in that machine, and a little bit of it in me. There was an accident today. The worst one I've ever seen. Have you considered the possibility that this machine might be Buffalo Bill. That machine killed your daughter. We all have to make Sacrifices. Human sacrifices. A demon is a kind of electricity. Sometimes it gets out of control. People get hurt. Three modern masters of horror have just created the ultimate machine for terror. The Wilhelm scream. Yeah, that was a perfect Wilhelm scream. Fuck yeah, the Mangler. When is that the Sixler's first name? Before he was the Sixler, he was the Mangler. Uh, it's funny that it's it's like from from the director of Poltergeist. Or it's uh, Toby Hooper directed uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. This came out in 95, though. Do you think Texas Chain... Like, Texas Chainsaw Massacre now is iconic, but in 95, did it have the... Um, pull? What was what was the one it said from the director of what? It said Poltergeist, from the director of Poltergeist. I thought Steven Spielberg directed Poltergeist. Produced Poltergeist. Oh. Okay, pull is up. What do you think of that trailer? I thought it was good. Uh, I liked it. And technically, what was that? Like a printing press? That's technology gone wrong. I feel that was better suited for things coming alive. But I'll allow it. I mean, this is pretty like specific. I, I think we can't argue too much. Okay. Well, I enjoyed it. It was schlocky. It was... I liked it. I'm going to give it two points. 
I'm going to also give it two points. I don't know how colorful it was. I liked it. Uh, Uh, does anyone feel Sprite? Uh, anyone else feel Sprite said Spielberg may have ghost directed Poltergeist. Pun intended. Oh, pun appreciated. <laughs> uh, so Chad gave that two points. So that's two, 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 six points. Who's getting them? Who's getting the points? What'd you say? Sorry, cut out. The Mangler? Oh, yeah. The Mangler. Uh, Rex Bosworth, Champion of Man. Congratulations. Okay. My name is Slash Gallagher. It is a time of revolution. Come and join me in my cause. The California Corporation took Los Angeles away from us. Now I'm here to take it back. It is a time to choose sides. This had better work. Relax. I'm a genius. A rookie sent to stop him. <laughs> How do you like your first day on the job, Dakota? Asking for a war, Mr. President. All Slash Gallagher wants is power. Isn't that what Slash this Gallagher? Is power. We built the buy though. We feed the people. We control the crime. It's a uh, Gallagher fan fiction, Slash Gallagher. I send you out to stop him, and you say he's invincible, sir. I saw Gallagher walk through flame and gunfire like it was nothing. He killed half my men. <laughs> A few must die for the greater good. That is the way of revolution. But revolutions are not fueled by ideals alone. Open the vaults. A direct assault, sir? There's hostages in there. We get Gallagher any way we can. Haven't you learned by now that every time we play this game, you lose? Oh, that's that guy. New heart. Better luck next time, buddy. But next time, he'll need more than luck. He will need time and the technology to transform himself into what the enemy has become. Dakota! Hologram Man. Yes. Uh, wait, it's Slash Gallagher and Dakota? I guess. Dakota! There was a lot of ponytails in that movie. Like I also like how <laughs> it seems like ninety percent of that was was filmed at the LA Convention Center. <laughs> like uh, also, which LA Convention Center you also recognize from the movie Face Off. That's where the bomb is planted in the beginning of Face Off. Um, but like, it's just kind of like a futuristic-ish looking place that they shot most of that movie at. Uh. A lot of it was like shootouts on the highway. Yeah. Um, yeah there's a couple things I want to go back and take a look at. Uh, this is better work. Relax. I'm a genius. Hold on, hold on. Before this, right in the very beginning, um, remember... My name is Slash... Okay, remember Stevie from Eastbound and Down? Yeah. Now picture this as like a Stevie character, right? Gallagher. It is a time of revolution. Come and join me in my cause. The California Corporation took Los Angeles away from us. Now I'm here to take it back. <laughs> it is a time to it? choose sides. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. I can see that. All right. Uh, this is better work. 
I just want you to take to recognize also how much fun this guy shooting that slash Gallagher shooting the U- Uzi looks like he's having. Like like he looks like he's having a blast shooting this Uzi. Relax. I'm a genius. A rookie sent to stop him. <laughs> you like your first day on the job, Dakota. 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 Dakota's the rookie. He's a 30 year old police rookie. First day of the job is a full on shootout. Uh, check out this 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 doll that they blow up with. I said you have to stop him, and you said he's invincible, sir. I saw Gallagher. What's that guy? Blame a good man. It was nothing. He killed half my men. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't move out. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I wonder if it could have been like. Uh, like a controlled stunt, right? And they were like, all right, we're going to blast this fire behind you. You have the fire suit on. Just don't move. <laughs> it's the suit Gallagher. from I Think You Should Leave. <laughs> oh, I'm freaking out in here, man. <laughs> I don't want to live anymore. <laughs> uh, we kind of see it. Hold on. I wonder if it's we can go back. Well, of a blow up dog. Uh, I'm trying to do like the step forward thing that I know you can do. On Alex and 16 says, your first day on the job and you got to turn into a Tron. <laughs> oh, there we go. We got it. <laughs> do you see it on Steam? <laughs> maybe, maybe, it, maybe this is a church getting bombed and that's just a Jesus statue. <laughs> <laughs> like that looks good right like nobody will know nobody will know. we'll be far enough away we won't be able to tell flame and gunfire like it was nothing it killed half my men a few months I also like how they like good. really that is the way of revolution but revolutions are not fueled by ideals alone open the vault <laughs> Direct assault, sir. There's hostages in there. We get Gallagher anyway. Right, right, right. Haven't you learned? It's by a now bus full of old ladies. Play this game, you lose. What? Was that another mannequin with the arms going up like this? The thing is, though, is like better luck next time, buddy. What the fuck is a hologram, man? <laughs> <laughs> That's why you can't kill him. He is a hologram. He turns himself into a hologram. Okay, so he can shoot people, but he's a hologram, so bullets go through him. Like, they do, like, very little to explain what's going on here. It's the tra- Yeah, they don't give it off of the trailer, because sometimes he's, like, on the bus shooting, he's got long hair, and then he's this. And then in the beginning, why does he have to wear the suit? And then when they're, like, making him a hologram, man, it's like, he's like, you know what you're doing, right? right let's see. Yeah. It is a time of revolution. And this is when he turns into the hologram, right? It is a he sheds his human form. My name is Slash uh. It is a time of revolution. Come and join me in my cause. California Corporation took Los Angeles away from us. Now I'm here to take it back. It is a time. I like that this movie is also pro corporation. No, no. California Corp. Oh, yeah, I guess. Because he's like, California Corp took it away from us, and now we're taking it back. I'm kind of like, he might be on the right side of this. This had better work. This is better work. What? You're already a hologram. What's going on now? What the fuck? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, have we watched this too much? I don't know. Uh, I, I Evie from Deadwood. But he's also Daryl and... Yeah, Daryl. Daryl and my brother Daryl. Yeah, yeah. Daryl, Daryl. I'm giving this two points. This is classic this is like very trailer boysy you know yeah um chat gave it three points too that's a seven point trailer right there i'm I'm sure sure 
Yeah, I loved it. I mean, we've yeah. watched it twice, and whenever we watch a, a trailer a couple times... I mean, definitely for side. that. Do the other side. It's definitely like, you know, we got the... We got... That freeze frame really helped it. Yeah! That's eight, eight points? Yeah, I think we're doing eight points. Eight points... Here, try it now. Me. Try it now. I just want to see if we're back it up, fist it, pull your fist back a bit, pull it back. Up. There we go. I Here? should have done this with my other hand, so I push it. Like yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, that took too long to do. So that got eight points, and that's going to punished, punished anus. I punished love anus. Is this your first eight point trailer? I love when, like, noobs out themselves by being like, uh, his name is Punished Walrus. <laughs> Punished Dude. Anus is now writing name down in our, in the thing as Punished Anus. <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah. It's, uh, oh, we're not even saying that. Punished Walrus is writing Punished Anus now. Okay. Good job. Good job, Punished Walrus. Okay. Um... You got one, Sam? My turn, or was that your it's turn? It's your turn. That was my pick, yeah. Okay, I was, I was like, I was, I, I, you know, I was, like, going to pick that. Um, I'm glad that I have a pick now, because I've been wanting to watch this. Got everything under control here, but I never liked this, not one bit. If they get the cheap, it's all over. You okay? Ah! I'm intrigued. It's still a little bit foggy. What happened is you just became a very valuable man. You and that chip are connected, forever linked. The chip, it's in the Bible. It's a mark of the beast. Sam Durain. So what is it you need from me? A new technology has emerged. A microchip designed by the Avanti Corporation. I offered to buy it. They refused. It's being transported by plane from Bangkok to Berlin. I want you to bring it to me. I know that the G20 summit is next week in Berlin, and I know that Avanti is supposed to make some kind of big announcement there. That chip has the power to change the world. You are the future of mankind, Mr. Turner. I would have been nice if I had the choice. She took a bullet that was meant for you, so that you can live out your purpose. And when the time comes, God will reveal his plan for you. Is that the guy from the program? This is like a prequel to Left Behind. What? So. I don't know. <laughs> no. I don't know if I like like the shitty self-released Christian movies or like the high budget Christian movies, uh, but better. I don't like either of them, but this was interesting. Why? 
how has technology gone wrong here? I think I missed that part. Yeah. <laughs> Resident Steel says, guess what the next watch party is going to be? Uh, I want to find the that. Mark of the oh. Beast? Is that what the mark is? The Mark of the Beast? What was the technology the, part here? The chip. Is the chip sure. in his hand went wrong. It made him the devil? Is that what it is? Yeah, but he didn't have a choice. Okay. <laughs> you know, it's the chip, and there's the ch the chips in the Bible. Uh, I don't get why you don't get this. Uh, okay. <laughs> Hold on. You can take an eye, keep an eye on chat. I'm going to pee real quick, and you can tell everyone why you love that movie. All right. Uh, I, it's really easy why I love that, and I think you probably agree with me, is the song. Uh, can't just buy or sell without the mark of the beast. True, true. Uh, let me let me look, do some research on this movie here really quick. Uh, 2012's yes, yes, 2012 The Mark, directed by James Chankin. James Chankin, he who also directed The Mark II Redemption. Makes sense. And The Ascent and Escape. All those like great movies and they were all made with it. Um, Mark Redemption was the last movie that James Chankin did direct. Good. Think, you know, maybe. Oh yeah, uh, Craig Sheffer is the main actor in that, and he's from the football movie The Program, he's from Nightbreed, uh, the 80s movie Some Kind of Wonderful, and plays Brad Pitt's brother in the movie the R A River Runs Through It. I, I always think he's, he looks like... Um, uh, what's his name? He looks like the guy from... Uh, uh, no Country for Old Men. Um, what are you talking about? Oh, what did Chad give it? I missed it. Just who played House? Josh Brolin. Yeah, he look, I think that actor always looks like Josh Brolin. But like when he when he's in his prime, he looked like Josh Brolin. That's um, the third movie that did seventy four percent no. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, that was Nate. That was that was uh, Craig Sheffer in that main role, who was the quarterback in the program. He was in Nightbreed. That's I'm crazy that you picked that out. Uh, so what the? If I can figure out what the chip did. Uh, Chad Turner has been implanted with the only working biometric computer chip, the Mark of the Beast. Oh, that's what the the, the biometric computer chip is called. It's called the Mark of the Beast. Uh, Dumb. The only working biometric computer chip in the world. Uh, the chip has the power to change the world with whoever controls it. And <laughs> but, all right, this is another reason why I'm giving it two points. The, the first uh, reason is because it's a it's a Christian movie. No, no. The first reason was the song. First and <laughs> foremost, that song rocked. I don't know what, where you were, but that song rocked my fucking ass off. Uh, <laughs> The chip has the power to change the world with whoever controls it. Why? Because G12 Summit. Yeah. Uh, and Joseph Pike, played by Gary Daniels, is determined to acquire the chip even in the face of the most unforeseen event, the rapture. <laughs> so the rapture happens during the movie. You're definitely going to watch party this, aren't you? It seems really cool. 
I mean, I bet this isn't on Amazon, though. I don't know. All right. Well, <laughs> I'm giving it no points. I'm giving it two points. Kind of evens out there. Who submitted it? Let me see. The Ilium uh, Works? I, I assume you submitted it. The, the, the Sandering people? Out yourselves as Sanderers. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm so glad no what that like no one is uh, yeah it's the alien works is it yeah I knew that chat gave it, it three points I gave it two so that's a total of five points chat did not give that three points yes, it did chat no let's go to the tape there's no way this chat gave that three points. Um, yeah. Revo right. PC, there's still time. <laughs> you can still submit trailers. Revo PC, you can still submit trailers, and I am also surprised. Wink, wink. Hopefully no one beats you to it. Let me see. I can't believe you guys gave that three points. Man, Chad is such a bummer. How are we so far apart? But right. chat? Yeah. But that they gave Some, it three points. Yeah, that's ridiculous. All right, next up, chat will probably give this zero points and I'll give it two points. <clears throat> Is it the trailer for Battleship? It should be. Battleship is on Amazon, by the way, Sam. I hate this so far. You want to take some pictures? <laughs> Post it. I need another drink. Look, look. Oh. She pooped her pants. Oh, here we go. What are you guys doing? Did you I know that dude on the right. Two weeks ago, like I asked you, no. which thing is better, balcony or orchestra? Hey, Mitch, who's your buddy? Who is that? I just tried to hang up on him. Can you get rid of this person? I don't know. Is this here the whole time? Uh, it's just probably a glitch. Well, the glitch just typed. Who is doing this? This is Laura's account. Who would hack into a dead girl's account? Maybe it's Laura. All right, everyone, hands up right now. Who's doing this? You see that video of Laura being all passed out and the dude fucked her? What a slut. Who's here? Is this a pandemic movie? No. It's pre pandemic. I didn't mean it. I swear. Man, what's going on? What is it? Can't talk to us! That's not how you use a blender. Um, I love it. I love it. <laughs> I liked it. Sorry, guys. <clears throat> That's natering. It it looked mad shitty. Guys, it's you no. Know, if if you're gonna if you're gonna put a a, a trailer up. And there's sexy girls who are portraying teenagers. Nate's gonna give it points.
Master Nation. Problematic. <laughs> it's, I don't think that's a pandemic movie, though. I wonder if they were like, shit, we have the best movie idea to do during the pandemic, but we already did it. Yeah. Unfriended. That looked shitty. 2014. Yeah. It was just a gimmick. I am ex submit it. Um, <laughs> all right. As chat is voting, and it's looking like they do not like it, um, I'm going to give it one point. Just conceptually. Technology gone wrong. Kind of a unique concept. Different take. So... Chat gave it 64% no, 36% yes, one point from chat, one point from uh, me. Zip, I'm going to give it two points going to Voodoo Cowboy. All right, Sam, what do you got? All right. Um. Here we go. Problematic. Oh, as a new security system, completely mobile. Hold on, it, I feel like it skipped ready. ahead. As a new I guess it did. <laughs> That's just how it is. Completely mobile, user friendly, and absolutely fail safe. But something is going wrong. He's got the same glasses. There's another one of those things out there. Waiting to pick up one by one! <laughs> he ain't getting me. It's not stopping! <laughs> They're here for your protection. And Sharpie will never be the same. Kill bots. Oh, huh. rad. Weird. I thought it was called Chopping Mall. Yeah, they, they did get released as Chopping Mall, but I guess this is the original trailer where it was called Kill Bots. It has a fucking awesome logo. That's pretty dope. Uh, all right. Uh, I loved that. Yeah, I liked it. I, I, did you know what movie this inspired? What? Robot Cop. Really? Yeah, this inspired Robot Cop. It did. Really? Are you serious? Yeah. Robot mall security, robot police officers. Wait, 1986? Is that right? Mm hmm. Oh, it's 1987. That seems a little too close together. Maybe it was twin movies. Right, so you're just mall. that out. What's up? 
You're making it up, though, right? That this inspired everything I make up. Uh, everything I say is made up. Okay, just making sure. <laughs> Greasy digs a subscribe. Let me try that again. Greasy digits, which now that I think about it, is kind of gross. Has subscribed with Prime for 15 months. Greasy digits. It ain't greasy. All right. Uh, Robot cop. Killbots. Uh, I thought the Killbots trailer was fucking cool. Yeah, it was right. cool. First off, two characters wearing my glasses that I'm currently wearing in that trailer. Very cool. Um, secondly, why are there so many people in this closed down mall? And why is it all like half naked girls? Is the mall closed down? No, I think it's like after hours. Oh, after, I thought you meant like closed down. Uh, I'll do. I definitely I liked it. It's schlocky. I love the mall. Like some of the stores you saw in the background, I thought were really funny because it was like you know, mall culture doesn't really exist now. Um, the girl in her underwear definitely gets a point. Yeah. Um, well, they get together for a sex party. Somebody says. I also like how somehow. They have, like, a shit ton of machine guns in the mall. It's a gun store. Like, uh, you know, mall culture. They had a gun store. They had a house paint store. Did you see that? Uh, yeah, that's, I was going to comment on that, too. It's like, they had a house paint store in the mall. <laughs> like, <laughs> hey, Steven, a lot of kids are hanging out at the mall. We, maybe we should open up our house paint store there. <laughs> that got a lot of points from chat. Wow, I got two points from me. Two points from me. Who submitted that? That was, this was a, a recent submission. I think someone meant, someone mentioned it in chat, and I was surprised to not see it be. Mac G? Let me, I have to make sure that, uh. Oh, wait. And did submit it right before the show. Grimward. Knack G, I'm sorry. I think I, I, I heard you wrong. I didn't notice that someone had submitted it. Thank you for jumping to it, though. But Grimward getting the points for seven points for Chopping Mall. You ready? Yeah. From the mind of Robert England, alias Freddy Krueger, comes his first directorial movie. What's up, Chuck? A movie reliving a nightmare. Let him go! The powers of darkness have returned. <laughs> Return to capture their souls. Don't worry about others who damage your pride. They'll soon regret it. The souls of the innocent. Someday soon, you're gonna be down here and I'm gonna spit on you. That the, that's the kid from, uh... A real man has the nerves. Um, Fright Night? Nerves. Some say it's a warning from God. England's 976 Evil. I did not understand what that movie was about. Yeah. I like uh, Punish Dana says, what area code though? True. <laughs> Nick Rock Lobster says, he went on to do gay porn. True story. 
Oh, really? He's good in these movies, though. He's, he's also in, um... Uh... One about the kids in the Catholic school. The gay porn about the kids in the Catholic school? I haven't seen it. The one with Andrew McCarthy with the kids in the Catholic school, what's that one? <laughs> if you think he's good in these, you should see him in gay porn. 976 Evil is decent. It looked cool. Rex Bosworth lives says there is a better trailer for that movie. Oh, really? Ooh. Prove we should have a wrong. trailer. We should have a trailer off graphic. Trailer off! Boo! Rex Bosworth, did you submit a better trailer for that movie? That did get submitted a lot. So I kind of want to see a different art. So Rex Bosworth challenge. We'll hit a challenge button, right? And it'll be like challenge. Okay. Let's see if Rex Bosworth, who already has points on the board, we will say, uh, Sam, do you see it? But if... Should we wager Rex Bosworth's points? Ooh! Interesting, Rex Bosworth. Do you want to wager your points from your previous submission on your new better trailer? A lot of people did submit this movie. I, I don't see... It's hard... I, I'm not able to tell... You know, which one is the same trailer or which one's new? Or, or, or which one you submitted? Because I don't think you did submit it. Uh, it was submitted a bunch. I'll say this. Somebody did submit the sequel, which I'm interested in seeing. Is that 977 Evil? No. That's a good... Yeah. Okay. Um... I don't know if we can do this trailer off because I don't see anything from Rex Bosworth here. Rex Bosworth, do you want to submit it? Should we do a trailer off? Sagumis says Monkey Shines won the ape theme and there was a much better trailer version we didn't watch, but it still won. I will say... There was a trailer we watched a couple weeks ago that I didn't like, and it had like William Shatner in it. Do you guys remember that? And then we watched another one that Sam Rabbit hold for and found, and it was so fucking good. Um, the better trailer is a bit longer, an improvement, but yes, not willing to bet my points on it. All right, Rick Spoiler. Okay. All, right. all right, all right. So, um. Did well, we already vote on that? On board and wants to bet those points, submit that better trailer. Find it. Well, there's there's a few people on here. All right, so let me just say how how many points did Chad give that? Uh Chat, back me up here. How many points? High strike zone at strike zone at Hello, point, Sam. Right. Say hello, Sam, and Q from Impractical Jokers. Q also looks like Rosie O'Donnell. So does that mean I look like Rosie O'Donnell? So you didn't nice. know you looked like Rosie O'Donnell. Yeah. Okay. So let me say this. So these points, one, one. I don't know what Sam's giving it. These are going to Nick Rock Lobster. First person to submit that. The people that can challenge and put up your points... What if they don't have points, Sam? They can't so challenge. Say, other people that submitted tonight... Lobaka. Uh, Lobaka submitted it twice. Sam rules in... Um, maybe it was just the two of them. Lobaka and Sam rules and Lobaka submitted it a few times, though. So what's up with that, Lobaka? Lobaka. 
Because someone said they deleted the contacts. Okay. I did. Yeah, okay. Thank you, Lobaka. All right. We're going to go. We're going to play Lobaka's version to see if it's different. All right. Is this it? Out of darkness and into light comes your horoscope. Push 666 for your horoscope now. I am the big guy to your destiny. Your prize lies only a short distance away. Claim it. That oh. shall not stay up! That's where my sister made her mistake with you. You know, there was no discipline. Go to hell. You can still change, boy. There is still time. Mama is raining fish. Raining fish from the sky. I thought I told you not to tell anybody about last night. Mama said we were blessed by the Lord. Your problem's not nearly as bad as it seems. You think I'm some kind of wimp, don't oh. you? Take it. You do you stupid kid. It's time we ended this. You don't end. Armageddon. <laughs> Okay, what do you think, Sam? Uh, you know, usually I don't like the uh, modern recuts. Like modern recuts, but that was pretty good, and it kind of gave more of the story. Um, I'm just doing a deep dive here, and because uh, I was trying to find the the name of that movie, Heaven Help Us, was what I was trying to think of. Um, but it is funny because they do have all the pornography on this guy's IMDb. <laughs> that was even a weird pause. I was like, they have all the pornography? And even Jeffrey, help us? There's name and uh, when he was uh, uh, started doing uh, porn, it looks like he changed his name to Sam Ritter. Hole in the Wall was what he started off with. Uh, sex on the Beach. Virtual Stud. The Cockpit. Quick Study. Sex Ed Part 1. Weird. I mean, usually you don't have Part 1, you know? Usually you don't know it's going to be a series at that first one. I think in porn they do all, all of them at the same day. Uh, <laughs> this one's a great title. Mechanics by day. B.I. day. Lube job by night. <laughs> B.I. night. B.I. Yeah, night. <laughs> yeah. Mechanics like by night. Lube job by night. Uh, so they're le- bisexual mechanics. Weather after midnight. Latin crotch rockets. Just 18 and gay. Yeah, you're just 18. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Hotel. Mm. Uh, Hell's Paradox. That's a Uncut boring. Glory. Oh, hell's! Oh no, that's a short. <laughs> <laughs> it's a short called Hell's Quarterback. So I was just uh, uncut glory. Uh, you know that that's a porn, uh, which is funny how close that title is to uncut gems. Uh, transsexual <laughs> prostitutes too. The big screw up. Motel sex. Manhunt. Leather virgin. Jeez, this this dude works. Uh, <laughs> that was a long month. <laughs> leather, uh, leather intrusion case four, and then after that, but it's leather intrusion case four down to the wire. Then after that, leather intrusion case two, the spider's kiss. Leather buddies. This dude loves leather. 
butt blazer. The spider's kiss. Okay. The brown spider's kiss. <laughs> black men, black men, white men. Oh. Nice. Transsexual <laughs> prostitutes. Which is this? They he's already I feel done. Like trans- already see. <laughs> it's a remake of the original. Yeah. Uh, Private Temptation, Halfway House Hunks, and uh, it looks like Halfway House Hunks was was his last, unless he. Oh no, no. Uh, he changed his name from Sam Ritter in 1998 to Stephen Bordeaux in 2002 for Semen Training Day. <laughs> it's a spoof of the movie Training Day. <laughs> uh yeah i don't I love, know if it's a sailing porn. thing or what but it's called semen <laughs> training real porn titles are always better than like the joke porn titles people make up <laughs> schwingle says look up his picture from today nobody wants to bang that dude now Storm, uh stromco penguin says king kong ain't got nothing on my loads <laughs> Okay, so let me ask you this, though. Uh, Chat gave that recut, the the second version we watched, two points. I liked it much better. Uh, Nick Rock Lobster, I think, also is like, that one's better. What do you think, Sam? Yeah, let's give it points. I'll give it two points. But do we take points away from Nick Rock Lobster? Uh... How many points did the first one get? I don't remember. I think three. Yeah. Yeah, we take points away from him. Wow. Did you see the first one? So, let me ask you this, Sam. If show, if somebody show. in chat is like, my trailer is better than the one that you just showed, can we challenge? What are the rules to these challenges? Because a lot of people are like, you've watched trailers before, and then there's better ones. If you say your trailer's better, you're gonna you're gonna uh, be betting points. Don't take points away. That's cruel, Panini Mini says. Your name is Panini Mini, and you're worried about us. Uh, all right, Thick and Wing says. All right, I guess like you guys are all like being little pissy babies, little babies. Uh, all right. Salmon Town. Fine. Fucking next, next. Ne- ne- no points now. Okay, let me set this up. This is going to be like the movie Drumline, where the uh, white dude that did this drum, remember this? This this guy? He was the only white guy in the in the band. One of the guys challenged for his position. That's how we'll do it. And you have to bet your points. Um, Nick Rog Lobster said they're fine giving up their points, but they submitted other trailers. So true. Good point. All right. Let's just keep it going. Because there's a couple I need to get to. All right. What are you picking next, Sammy? Can I pick next? Man. Oh, wow. I had a friend in college uh, who Nate knows uh, who was obsessed with this movie. Uh, Jordan Cooper. <laughs> obsessed with this next movie. So I'm Jordan, really for, for the doll lickers in chat, Jordan has dropped some when when trevor passed jordan has put some really cool shit up on the reddit from behind the scenes when you guys were starting out in the beginning man's greatest invention was the wheel now in this century it's hello my name is gold digger he's a family friend then superman flew in and shouted hi ho silver he's a domestic dynamo and he's did we watch this crime. like last week <laughs> he'd be perfect for did new york know? city now what is this muslin i can get you three pieces corduroy if only he worked <laughs> When am I getting my American rockets? Saturday at the latest one. His antics make his inventor frantic. 
You are in default to this bank. But something's rotten in the Big Apple. Oh yeah, it's Joey Petalone. Low down art thieves and high rewards. Look at this. There's a two million dollar reward for the statue. It's killers and con men against a father, his son, and their invention for crime prevention. But when they turn him on, everything goes haywire. Hundred thousand dollars. I've got your bid. Thank you. I won again. Machine gun. Yes. Hey! Profitable war. Your mommy's right, Alex. You need to hit the problem, Alex. When everyone's got a screw loose, it's tough to be made of nuts, bolts, and megavolts. Touchdown! The body of a Terminator, the brain of a space cadet, and a heart of pure gold. You fixed him! Thank you! Gold Digger, starring Joe Pantoliano of Used People Midnight. The movie's Run, called Gold Digger. Finest. John Reese Davies of Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. It's called Shadow. Robot in the Family. Danny Gerard from Desperate Hours and the hit CBS TV series Brooklyn Bridge. But I think my name is Gold Digger. Gold Digger, the greatest invention since the Hindenburg. That's his voice. My name is Gold Digger. I yeah, feel I mean, watch this. Really? Yeah. I I haven't, I haven't watched this one because I remember because I, I would have remembered because uh, uh, Jordan used to talk about it a bunch and that's like blast from the past seeing this so you might have watched it without me Jordan uh, is kind of like the sixth whitest kid right wasn't he in the original uh, mega group he, he was he showed up to the mega group a little bit yeah I, I uh, there's something about maybe I watched it on like one of my streams late night or something, but it's like yeah. something is very. I have a feeling this movie familiar. is very problematic. I mean, yeah. Um, I did not like it. FYI, on the IMDb page for this, they say you may also like Nuki. That might be Jordan who said that. <laughs> like that, like I, <laughs> who's in front? Yeah, obsessed with Nuki. Um, the funny thing is, I'll say this: I don't know Nuki, but people are always like, "Have you seen?" Or like, they'll be like, "Sam, do you watch RLM?" Sam, do you watch RLM? And I'm like, I don't know what that is. And then people have said it's Red Letter Media, and I've heard things about it. So in the past couple of weeks, I've watched some of the videos, and they have to watch the whole movie. But Nuki is something that they do reference a lot. Um, and I have seen some former winners referenced in that show. Um, yeah. Red Letter Media, best of the worst. Have I ever watched pornography? I've heard of it. Um, I've, I've heard of, uh, <laughs> I don't know what I was going to say, sorry. It gets uh, a, a lot for the new key. Good. They have a Did thousand copies of new key. People keep sending them in. That's like, uh, Jerry Maguire on VHS. Uh, they uh, opened the, Jerry Maguire video store. No. Yeah. Everything uh -huh. is terrible. Right. Wasn't that them? Yeah, maybe. I think it was the Everything is Terrible crew just had like a whole like almost art installation of just yeah. Jerry Maguire VHS. The Derek? What's that? Derek Beckles? I don't know. Okay. Uh, Chad gave that a 71% no. No. One point. I didn't like it. I'm giving it zero points. I'll give it one point. Uh... It is surprising to me how truly awful that was. But one, it's 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 remarkably awful. It looked very bad, and not in like the way that I enjoy bad.
save the one with Derek is TV Carnage, which folks should also check out. All right, I'm up next. Problematic. Kim Basinger. Tell me what I need to know. I don't know what you're talking about. You're never going to see your son again. You got the wrong family! This is the single greatest phone I've ever made. Hold on a second. I'm emailing this video to myself. Chris Evans. I need your help. Who is this, Chloe? No, no, no. My name is Jessica Martin. I've been kidnapped. If I want to have talking to it, it's destroyed. If you hang up, I mean, I can't forget anybody else. Oh, my God. Someone's coming. Don't want to die here. No! Oh, God. No! Oh, God. We had a report of a possible kidnapping. Anybody here? Police! We have a visitor. Get rid of them. <laughs> she was dirty, Jack. Hurry! My son's school gets hosed. They can't get him. I gotta follow your car. Why are you gonna let him get away? Whoa! Oh! Where is she? Battery's dying. Do you have a charger? I'm checking the car. Whoa. I'm getting this a charger. Don't worry, I'll find him. Hurry! Life and death call. Give a charger. Sir, you need to wait your turn. Excuse me. Hey, take a number. I'm budget no, Jerry Seinfeld, sir. I have no right to ask you this, but you're my family's only hope. I need your car. That guy. Yeah. Who are you? How did you get involved? I just answered my phone. Hello? Are you there? Chris Evans is a national treasure. Am I right, guys? That definitely looks like a fun, like, uh, uh, Fast and the Furious type. Yeah! You know? Um, I do want to point out two things. Are, are you rewinding? <laughs> You're pointing something yeah, out? I just, want to, I just want to point out one thing really quick. I just looked up uh, actors' names. This guy here on the left, his name is Terry, My Meinfeld, Terry Weinfeld. <laughs> Terry Weinfeld? Yeah. Uh, wine. <laughs> Hold on. There's a guy. Let's see. Dirty Jack. Hurry. My son's Noah gone. Emmerich. I can't get him. I can't follow your car. This guy. Isn't this guy oh. from Mr. Show? Yeah, that's uh, uh um. I know him. He's great. Um, <laughs> I am blanking out his name. That's uh, 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 John Ennis. The, no, it is John. That's John Ennis. No, I mean that. I think is the guy from Jerry from, from Mr. Show, Jerry Seinfeld. It's John Ennis. Yeah. Let me see. Cellular John Ennis. I get him. I get him yeah, he was really in that for like a hot second. Um, this is great, by the way. Very, very nice guy. I, I think this is this. He's holding like a bag phone. I think this is funny. Um, let me point out one other thing. This guy. Okay, fuck. What happened there? All right. He's only hope. Yeah, he was top number one in cellular. So this guy too, I feel he's played this character and done this scene like multiple times where he's like yeah. some business shit ad and somebody's like, give me your car. Like, he's like, I can't do that right now. I've got deals to make. I've okay, got business. Okay. Yeah. And it's a Porsche. Um, yeah. I, but the thing is, I've never seen this movie and I can clearly picture this guy in this scene. So I'm like, he must have 
done this a couple times, right? He's got a type. He was the guy in a uh, hostel too, right? Same guy. Um, all right. So chat really liked this. I think they gave it like an 80 something percent. So I think it's three points. I, I'm going to give it two points. I loved it. I it two points too. There was just something special about this one. It wasn't, it's like weird. It's weird that this one's so good, but it just is so good. And it's like insanely star studded, you know, yeah. like that's right like kim basinger basinger okay uh so that is a seven point trailer and that goes to niamix on the board boom Ooh, there you go the yeah she's either. right at the uh, yeah there you go okay uh sam next what do you got grow uh, uh, up We Turbo Goof says, I'm assuming you guys have seen Tammy and the T-Rex, right? Tammy and the T-Rex is actually like the first trailer that we were like, that was a Panwall trailer. And we were like, what the fuck is this? And we watched a bunch of different cuts of that. So that was kind of like, we should do a show of just trailers after that. All right, here we go. Damn it. I was going to pick this one. I'm surprised that this is Columbia TriStar DVD. DVD. In the future, the war on pollution will be lost, and civilization okay, yeah, will true. move underground. A world where the last frontier is the human mind. A world where sex and drugs are computerized pleasures. <laughs> this shit is pure. They'll bring you a fortune in New York. Here, on a desperate flight for freedom, she must escape. With uh, full biosynthetic. One of the last. An enemy who is no longer human. And seek help from a man who is more than a man. I need to get to New York. You know how to run the maze. It is a race against time. Against the guardians of the underworld. So I want to ride out of here. No room for passengers. Against the ravagers of the deserts. against the one man who cannot be stopped <laughs> but must be destroyed head rush it's not the chips that i want it's always been you oh. Circuitry Man. <laughs> ah, that's the best name. I love the just throwing man. Like, what year was this? Does anyone know? City Man. Does anyone tell me what year this is? Because I want to know where this is in the I Lawnmower keep... Man. What'd you say? 1990. When? So this came out after Lawnmower Man. Uh, I think it's before. Circuitry Man. Oh, uh. I think we might have to do a quick uh, rabbit hole here. Of course. While we vote on that, I liked it. I thought it was silly. It was like, it was simple, you know? This part I loved. A lot of trailers tonight 
Enter a world of darkness. They're just like words, words, words. Infamous plughead. Without it's describing what's business. happening in the, the movie. Everyone wants to live a little plughead. Longer. That's his name. And the only hope is Circuitry Man. Oh, he's Circuitry Man. The Federal Bureau of Investigation. I don't plug. You are sadly mistaken. You will go with me to Brazil, and you will help me kill that monster if it's the last thing you ever do. Why did you bring me back? Interface with this hopeless romantic. Stop being so brave. And all his friends. <laughs> on a mission. Put these G suits on, they're gonna make you look like hot lust logs in space. I've never been shot twice in the same day before. Be there for the chivalry. Whoa! Yep. Charming, isn't it? How? Uh, <laughs> keep going, keep going. We'll edit it in post. The circuitry. Yeah. Stop. And the insanity. For play is over. Sorry, guys. Science fiction adventure. Don't apologize to me. I liked it. Great. No, I'm apologizing to anyone from a corporate place that might be watching. The bloody button. Circuitry Man 2. Things again, Cobb. 2? It's a sequel? Even yeah. Me. Starring Vernon Wells of It Mad looks Max the TV exact Commando. same. Yeah, I know, right? Shelton of TV's Dallas. Jim Metzler of One False Move, The River's Edge, and Delusions. And this little Who is he in The River's Edge? Back from Circuitry Man <laughs> 1. <laughs> And Tracy Lords of Tommy Knockers, Cry Baby, and soon to be seen in a Nutty Nut. And that other movie she did. It doesn't get any better than that. Circuitry Man 2. <laughs> I liked it. It looked like the same exact movie, though. It right? did look like. The same exact movie. I also love and soon to be from a nutty nut. <laughs> like you just not say it, you know. Uh VGT, uh, we, we rabbit hold that. I saw the uh uh I I saw that there was a sequel and so I, I just I made the call to tear. There are two reasons why I like that trailer better than the first one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, so the first one got 85 from chat so that's three points from chat i i'm gonna give it i'm gonna give it two points i thought it was fun and we're you, you know what's that circuitry man you're giving circuitry man i'm gonna give two points to uh yeah, I'm gonna give it two points also. Hey, so weird. Who? Who? who get, yeah, it's weird. Uh, it's a simple, straightforward trailer too. Uh, Circuitry Man two. We're not scoring. That was a rabbit hole. Who submitted Circuitry we, Man? We, Circuitry Man two wouldn't get scored anyways. It was TOS. Yeah. Uh, Kit Black. Kit Black. Okay. That's seven for Kit Black. Seven for Kit Black. Okay. That was one I wanted to pick. So let me see. Okay. Mm. Shoot. We're, we're coming towards the end here. So I'm going to start. I've, I've picked out a couple to watch. Let's try this one. Seizures? I don't know. Create Sorry if you do. Inframan. And a motion picture creates the ultimate spectacle. <laughs> and 
This trailer fucking rules. Wildest imagination with the man beyond bionics. Six million light years beyond believability. Is he man or machine? Electronic circuits integrated with living cells in the living body of a man. Powered by nuclear energy. Man. That's a cool song. Believe your eyes. You won't believe your ears. For real. I mean, <laughs> kind of blown out our eardrums, so you don't believe that with death. You won't believe your mind. Because it'll be melting from the seizure you just had. The most advanced product of bionic science. Towering above Is he a bad guy? Is he a baddie? Thunderbolt fists. Rocket feet. Can Inframan survive heat that melts rock? This is the kind of music you should be making on your streams. Is Inframan a match for men of steel? Like this. Oh, those guys are cool. What if this was an Elden Ring type game? That's <laughs> Fuck, I'm in. A motion picture that will stagger your imagination. Inframan, the ultimate in science fiction. Yeah, I like that. Holy shit. An assault on the senses for sure, yeah. Ears broken, eyes broken, but... Brain broken! But I'm like, uh, I feel like I'm high off of that movie trailer right now. That's like one of those movies, like the trailer gave me anxiety. Like it was so overload, like sensory overload. Um, the trailer is still going. I liked it. I thought the trailer was fucking dope. Music was really good. The, do you know what I'm definitely giving it a point for? Is and that's not not the only point, but uh, the font. Yeah, that was dope as shit. That's what you know. The funny thing though is, it's a it's from 1975, but the font just seemed too like faux retro. Like it seemed like modern. Um, so I'm like, I wonder if this is like a modern recut or something. You know, because like. Oh, no way. Um, Look at that. That's what? fucking... That's some film gram there. Like, this is that, shitty. Shitty? You can fake no, no, the shittiness. I mean, yeah, but not to the... You wouldn't fake it to this extent. We would be able to tell. Uh, and, yeah, it, I, I, I think this is genuine. I, I think it was dope too. Uh, I, I loved it. I loved everything about it. I loved how, even how uncomfortable and intense. And I was even like, fuck, you know. Um, Everyone's like, did it go wrong? Yeah. I mean, the trailer like melted our brains. True. <laughs> <laughs> well, there were like enemy robot guys. Those probably went bad. So that got a 58% yes, which makes me disappointed in you guys. So that's two points. I'm going to give it two points easy. I'll give it two points, yeah. Okay, that went to Dean Domino. And he read, Is he man or machine? 1975 Kung Fu Cyborg Superhero, a great trailer IMO. Also, I submitted this for Explosions Week, but it never had any luck. Well, Dean Domino, you had a much better context description this week. Sam, on to you, my friend. Didn't 
Infinu is a black and white TV with the power to turn itself on and come alive with the dead, the video dead. But for the new owners, their first warning may be too late. Why did you kill her? You don't know what you're messing with. The video dead, a new form and shape for zombie terror that invades a neighborhood and threatens the innocent, the unsuspecting, and the unbelieving. Nothing can prepare you. Nothing can save you. Nothing can stop the onslaught of the video dead. It's the late show to end them all. Look what's buried inside your TV. The video dead. That's cool too. Oh, we should steal that logo style. Trailer boys. Trailer in the. I'm gonna take a fucking. Let's see. What do you think? What do you think, chat? Where are we at? We do trailer boys too. Uh, that text logo sucks. You suck. <laughs> Fuck you. I like that. I like it. I like, I like how video story the video is. Um. So what what happened here? The TV made zombies. What does the context of the of the submission say? Uh. Poll is live. Um, I like to, I tell you, it like started stronger than it ended for me. Yeah, I, I, I would, I would agree with you there. Video dead, a possessed television creates a zombie invasion or something. <laughs> okay. Wait, I think that's a Grim Ward trailer. <laughs> oh, wait, no, no, no. Uh, a simple TV set capable of summoning zombie, but no cable channels. <laughs> I like that description. Skit Kit says, Ski Kits says, Skit Kits, I got it right, said, I don't vote because I'm kind of new here. No, definitely vote. Just vote. Just vote. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't matter. You're not going to piss anyone off. The points don't matter. Just vote. Uh, interesting. Uh, so, check if that's 71% yes. I felt there was more... I, I don't know. I guess a lot of the movies tonight, the theme was kind of odd. So, yeah, it's your first night. Yeah. You have to vote. Secondly, you can't talk about Trailer Boys. Uh, no, no, no. You, you should talk about Trailer Boys. Tell, tell your friends. I'm telling anybody there. about Trailer Boys. That's why. People? That's why no one comes here. Oh. No one hangs out with us. There's like ten people watching. There's enough people here. Okay, here's my thing. I don't know. It, like it was an interesting trailer. I'm on. I'm. I'm giving it a point, but I don't think I'm giving it two points. Tell everyone about Trailer Boys, and if you ever watch Self Suck Saturday, talk how about how much you like in Gramps' shoes. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, oh, did I, I tell you? That's a good submission. You said one point. Check gives it two points. Check gives it two points. I'm giving it one point. I'm giving it two points. I, I, you know, there was a point where I, I thought I was going to be giving that one three points. 
three. I, I really like the name. Uh, I just like before it was like if it was something more than just like, hey, zombies are here. I would have given it three points. The whole like there's a TV in there and the kid talking to the TV and being like, why'd you kill her? And then the guy being like, you don't know what you've done. Really fun. Okay. We have about half an hour left. How many trailers would you like to pick? Oh, wow! Thick and Wing has gifted a sub to Panwall. Panwall's new here, right? Just kidding. Uh, and Zombie Bender gifted a sub to new viewer Skit Kits. Arcane Anus has subscribed for 12 months. Thank you. I don't know how to read these off well. I'm sorry. Um, okay. Who submitted that? And did you say what the total points were? That one was Hendo and five points. Oh, Hendo. Hello. All right. So with half hour left of the show, how many trailers do you think we should shore up? Let's, let's, let's be quick. Not too much dilly-dallying. And let's do three each. How about that? Okay. All right. I'm going to choose my first of my three. And I wrote them down so I wouldn't get lost. Hype train, Sam. Hype train. What are you going to do for the hype train? Show a trailer that has boobs? Yeah, probably. <laughs> Dr. Eve Simmons has created a robot in her image. Woo! It's Eve Eight, also known as Eve Vickers. State of the art. For all intents and purposes, she is a human. How do I look? She was programmed with much of my life experience, but we are not exactly alike. I knew we were doing some robot research, but this thing... She's a it's like Gregory Hines. ...who's learning yeah. to be all woman. I'd kill to have that jacket. Is that jacket from and Raw? Now, she's on the loose. <laughs> well, this is quite some toy you have yourself, Sir Joan. I suppose you want me to put it back in its box. <laughs> it's famous for tap dancing. Yes. I'm very sensitive. Charming. A tease. Why don't we just All right, who gave the the robot newsy? <laughs> I'll call you sometime, okay? And she's having a bad day. Come on, get out of the way! <laughs> <laughs> He's right on her ass. Yeah. She's activated. What Shouldn't she be driving faster and She's better as being a robot? Nuclear warhead. Yeah. In a Mustang? And once you turn her wait, 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 what? She's also a nuclear warhead? Bad day. Get out of the way! I'm very sensitive. She's activated. What do you mean she's activated? She's a state-of-the-art thermonuclear warhead. A walking <laughs> nuclear box. And once you turn her on, you'll never turn her off. <laughs> Was that the plan the whole time? Hours, she'll explode with enough force to take out 20 to 30. Blocks. Wait, why is she nuclear bomb? Gregory Hines. We don't know. We don't know. Destruction. She just is, okay? Please don't say this. I'm very sensitive. I'm very sensitive? That's the... Uh, she yeah. said that a few times. That's hilarious. Uh, hold on. I The narcissism... And the creator being like, I want to make this robot that looks just like me, but like sexier and more badass. Also, she's a nuclear bomb. Um, I want to give a shout out. Jaws of Victory subscribed. Hello, Jaws of Victory. Principal Rolls gifted a tier one sub to Sparkle Pony. Thank you. So nice, Principal Rolls. Then Lobaka gifted a tier one sub to Nick Rock Lobster. Nick Rock Lobster. I can't say words. Hendo gifted a sub to the community, and it went to Doom Domino's fleet. Do my nose, Fliate. Wow. Look at the hype train. Look at the hype train. All right. Very cool. 
I'll prepare. I'm going to prepare something for the hype train. Okay. What do you think of that movie, though? Uh, I remember that. I remember seeing commercials for that as a kid. Like, Why did she have to be a nuclear warhead? Why add that like extra level? Like she was already a murderous robot, right? I saw that. I saw the trailer for that movie when I was like so young that like I was like, oh, I guess this is what rated R movies are like. <laughs> if only we were that lucky. It seemed totally normal to me. Uh, yeah. I forgot to put the poll up. Like an idiot! We were hype training, uh, and I couldn't do it. There is the so much called Eve, yeah. I, Eve of Destruction. If you ask me to name a Gregory Hines film, that's probably the name I would say. And I would go, Eve of Destruction is... I, I don't know what it's about. I just think that's what it's called. I don't know. And I'd be right. Uh, it's like back there in my head. And uh, Really? I, I don't you would how, come up with that. Gregory Hines, you'd be like, uh, he was in a movie called Eva Destruction. Like, you knew yeah. that. Oh, no, <clears throat> yeah. That's crazy that to me. It has me. like really like made some weird effect on me. Huh. I don't remember that movie at all. She gives nuclear warhead, Felonius Trunk says. Love it. Excellent. Running Scared. History of the World Part 1. Running Scared. I don't know if I remember that. Oh, yeah, yeah. History of the World Part 1, that's right. Lydia Petunia says, did they do Hellphone? I don't Running know. Scared. Were you watching? <laughs> Chicken wing gifting a sub to Felonia's drunk. Uh, check if that 57. The more of these, the harder it is to say words. Chat has given that 50 per 7, 50 per 7 cent. Hold on. 57 per cent. Yes. I think that Inframan trailer scrambled my brain and my speaking module is messed up. Okay. I'm going to give it two points because that was that was a trailer that I enjoyed. Yeah. Panini, Panini Sweetie. Wait, Panini Sweetie? Because I... <laughs> Panini Mini just changed her name to Patini Sweetie. Okay. Because uh, I gave yeah. him a hard time. Because you're bullying. All right. Yeah. <clears throat> um, awesome. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give Eva Destruction two points. I'm going to give The Batman ten points. Uh, I'll give Eva Destruction two points. It's. I feel like that has... Been <laughs> two, 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 two. Trailer, trailer boys. Allure. <clears throat> Let me see. Eva Destruction wrote down 2176... It said, <clears throat> it's like Terminator, but she's very sensitive. Oh, and she's literally a nuclear warhead. I just love that. <laughs> she says, I'm very sensitive. Uh, that comes to us from, oh, Trailer Boy Hall of Fame member, Panwall. Welcome back, Panwall. Great to see you up on her. <clears throat> okay. Hi, Panwall. Always good submissions. Sam's turn. Uh, oh, wh whoops. Hello. Ooh. I just drank a skunky beer.
This is a perfume ad. This isn't a trailer for a movie. <laughs> Take your time walking across this huge room to the phone. So Tilly Savalas? I think so. I still have to make my Telly Savalas <laughs> Vin Diesel mashup shirt. Whoa. Is this problematic? Problematic. Music is great. Chi ti ha insegnato a fare l'amore? Un insegnante. Il mio insegnante di matematica. Quando avevo 13 anni. I can't believe this trailer is 16 minutes long. Mi sbucciai un ginocchio. Lui mi dedicò i graffi. It's not even in English. The assassin of the telephone? Telephone Savalas. That's his full name. Telephone Savalas. I'm a judge. I'm a i What does Tanto mean? <laughs> Obaka said, I think that's the Lone Ranger sidekick. <laughs> A lot of switchblade in that movie, you know what I'm saying? I'm very sensitive. Why the whole thing? Why not just the I'm very sensitive part? I, I like that it has the, the car crash in it. I don't know. I'm very sensitive. <laughs> so loud. Okay. Is, is it loud? Is it loud? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, oh, is that boring. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that didn't even do the part where she says I'm very sensitive. No, no, I was f futzing with the volume. Very sensitive. She says it a few times in the trailer. Yeah. Okay. Um, the phone killer. The killer is on the phone. Wasn't my shit. There was a lot of dialogue, not in English. Uh, what was the context for this, Sam? Context was... Um... The music was great. I, I, it, was, it, it was great music. I will give it that. And it could have been an interesting trailer. Like, this is something where I'm like, I bet you there is a better cut version of this trailer. But this ain't it. on the phone even if this were in english i f have a feeling it would be incomprehensible disagree uh that got a very bad score 
And I will give it one point because I like the music. Alright, uh, I'm going to give it no points. I was kind of bored. And Jack gave it no points, too. Who submitted that? Who submitted that bullshit? Baby Genius 4, thanks for coming on the show. Fucking stinking it up. No. I'm just kidding. I'm just you got to come back. You got to keep... Be... Good picks. Okay. Oh, I, I missed the, the one that they really wanted to play. Nate, your turn. Problematic. Oops. Hold on, we're trying this again. I thought they were going to spell the whole thing. We are here to discuss cybernetics. The wave of the future, the wave of justice. In a world where laws are enforced by cyborg police officers, Robert Cop? I am Unit 7 of the Federal Division of Core Trackers. You are to be executed now. Now, wait a minute. Special Agent Eric Phillips is part of a dying breed. Internews said you saved the Senator's life today. Yeah, I'm a real hero. The terrorists are said to be members of a covert radical group who oppose computerized justice. We don't know anything about this guy. Bringing the police station's like a pyramid. A mistake. When Phillips uncovers a plot to assassinate world leaders and replace them with cyborgs, he ends up fighting a system he swore to protect. Hey, wait a minute! I swore to protect this system where they would replace world leaders with Problems cyborgs. With traitor. Sending out a tracker as well. <laughs> what do you say we just call it a draw? I love how he got thrown and then rolled into a shot. You are. Cybercourt is working. Well, it looks like he won. Deeper into our government, and pretty soon they are going to be untouchable. Do you understand? How do you stop a being whose sole purpose is to hunt and kill? The court tracker is the perfect android, the perfect assassin. Pity you weren't working for Cybercore. I'm going to burn it down. <laughs> Another like dummy catching on fire. <laughs> Thick and Wayne gifted subs. Thank you, dude. Generation generation of soulless zombies trained to obey what more could a god want <laughs> <laughs> don the dragon wilson what more <laughs> the dummies are so funny. <laughs> Did you see the exploding one though? It was like almost the same scene. Um, was this it? Pity. Uh, yeah, really? Hold on, we're gonna put this in. Yeah, Skit Kits is. You can also control it frame by frame, but the thing is, for us to watch it without any latency, we're watching it on this like weird third party thing that isn't letting us do normal YouTube controls. There's a so. sequel, Al Mobs. If, if we weren't so late in the show, I'd say let's watch a sequel, but we're pretty. Uh, I'm giving that one two points. Here's my thing. I it's in our wheelhouse, right? Of like things that we vibe on trailer boys. There is something missing. You know what I'm saying? I guess. I don't know. There's just something about it. Like there, there, there were no scenes that really like got me and i'm like fuck yes um it did seem like a shitty i mean i i got what i asked for i guess um 
the context was, remember RoboCop? Well, this is a really bad RoboCop. And I was like, hey, that's what I want to watch. Uh, I'm going to give it one point because it, you know, I got what I expected, but I was hoping for a little magic. Magic. Ooh. What? Is, what? All right. Professor what? Marth gifting subs to punished walrus. Thank you very much, Marth. Trailer voice pyrite. <laughs> <laughs> Very sensitive. The car crash part. Uh, uh, why do you have it in there? Okay. Uh, Chad gave it two points. I, I gave it I one point. That in like two, points. two seconds. Okay. Well. Okay. Uh, that got two points of Chad. Two points of Sam. One point for me. Five points going to Tao Zhu for you. It's been a while since I've seen a Tao Zhu submission. So. Welcome back on the board, Tazu. Stop! One more Stop! what? <laughs> come on, come on. What began as a teenage game became an obsession. Hi, guy. You don't remember who I am, do you? I'm not sure. You think about it, and I'll call you later. Awake. And now it's about to problematic. Hi, Judy. This is Richard. I'm in your apartment. Hi, girls. You butt into my room whenever you want. I'm your mother. It's that the girl from Step by Step. I can tell you have a beautiful mouth. That's her mom. From your words. Look, just don't let this guy know who you are, whatever you do. Let's talk about problematic. I'll be wearing a sexy white dress. The lady in white. White? You are not leaving this room. This doesn't like that. Do you understand me? No phone privileges. No nothing. Andy Sandberg and Hot Rod? Hi. What? Say what, what, what? Lisa. Whiskey. <laughs> Go, please. You took out my phone. Oh, you fucked up, Mom. You took the phone out. Hi. Shouldn't it be called Richard and not Lisa? <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Problematic. Good point. So she's like a high school girl that's obsessed with him, and then he becomes obsessed with her. Her mom is super hot. Why didn't he just date her mom? Uh, he, I think he's a serial killer. Where did you get that from? Because he killed that woman... Before anything. Like, he killed a woman, like, early on in the trailer. What? Yeah. He, he, he was like, I'm in your house. I thought that was like a... And this, this is the daughter from My Two Dads and Step by Step. Stop! Fuck! I got it, come on! This is a different guy, huh? Oh, I thought it was the same guy. As a teenage guy. game became an obsession. Hi, guy. You don't remember who I am, do you? I'm not sure. You think about it, and I'll call you later. No, wait. And now it's about to turn. I tried deadly. to turn the volume up for you guys. This is Richard. I'm in your apartment. Hi, girl. You don't know she died. You butt into you my can't room prove anything, you Sam. I'm oh, your mother. It's nobody. Right. <laughs> sorry, guys. Problem. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, brain scan it, which is funny oh, because brain, brain scan it was submitted. Brain scan was submitted. Yeah. Do we have to watch it? Okay. Um. Sorry. So I just wanted to go back to this part now that we all are watching it. I did turn the volume up. An obsession. But the. Hi, guy. The you whole part that Sam was I talking about. I sure. I like this thing in the in the trailer. And I'll call you later. No wait. And now it's about like to the voicemail thing. Deadly. Hi Judy. This is Richard. I'm in your apartment. I just like that as a scene. All right. Hi girls. Um. You butt into my. What did you think of that, you Sam? Uh, what was I it called? Lisa. Lisa. Yeah, I thought it was cool yeah. for like a phone movie. Yeah. Um, I, I like the whole, like, call the police. You took my phone away. Sorry, I brain scanned the shit out of that chat. Okay. 
There is this. <laughs> Skit Kit says, any sexy brother butting into room stories? You mean like bedroom? Uh, actually, uh, I have a story where... <laughs> <laughs> we're editing this out. <laughs> and we're back! Uh, okay. Okay. That was Lisa. I'm going to give it two points. Chat gave it two points? <laughs> uh, yeah, I think so. Okay. And who submitted that? I don't know. <laughs> you picked it! <laughs> no, I know, I know. Uh, sorry about that. Sorry about that. <laughs> uh weird awkward show tonight <laughs> i am not sure where i'm gonna go with next that was marissa 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 although interestingly enough goes by a different name in chat and i forget what that is Somebody submitted murder by phone, but I feel that's the whole reason we chose the category. So yeah, was, uh, if you submitted murder that. by phone, we're not watching it. All right. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. 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 Are we ready? Nope. What is this? Damn, there's two I have. All right, ready? Sorry, guys. Oop, it's a scream trailer. Oh. Everything known of all speak. He's the kid everyone used to pick on. Screwed up for the last time, Cooper Dick! You see, everyone thought Stanley was a joke. <laughs> An outcast with no one to turn to. You guys broke my catapult. You're gonna pay for that. No one except man's most advanced machine. Stanley used the power of man to call on the powers of evil. Is he a Nazi? I, Stanley Cooper Smith, command you! Oh my God. And all hell broke loose. Creatures with your strength and force. Be bull from in. Night Court? Remember that little kid you used to pick on? Well, he's a big boy now. All right. Do you guys think that's actually TOS? Here's the thing. I would give that two points and be like, this is the shit. Awesome trailer. Everything I wanted in a trailer. Boom. Love it. I think it's TOS. I think, and we have a rule. You know, but you know what's funny is that, like, when they, when they, like, there was, like, the, the really kind of apparent TOS to it. Uh, to this one? The, uh, uh, don't go to it. 
But there was a moment earlier where there was a similar kind of effect, but it was like kind of like a background effect, and I was like, was that? Nah. I and think I that. If it was, it's so small, you would notice, and then like two seconds later, there's the full-on like kind of close-up POS of it. Uh, he does look like if Zack and Timmy had a kid. You're right. But we do have a note or an unofficial rule or whatever like TOS trailers we just you lose you don't get the points you get minus one point um, you're the boss what do you think Sam I love that trailer I, I also love the trailer love the ending uh, it's kind of a tough TOS call though because it's not even like, it, you know, it's one thing if it's like a close, like, oh, is, is that like, uh, re-show the TO, what the TOS was. <laughs> uh, I think a lot of people might have missed it, because it was like a kind of graphic addition to the trailer, you know? Do you know what I mean? It wasn't like it was a trailer where we saw people getting naked, you know? It was like, I'll say this. So, like, this is the, the cover, the box, right? That blue face in the background. Like, imagine if, like, something in the background like that was boobs. Um, well, the other one was definitely TOS, but Sam chose that other one. So, if somebody had submitted that and it was as TOS, then that'd be no points. The problem is, we say, if somebody submits a TOS trailer, it's a minus points. So, all I'm asking is Sam to make a ruling. Because, say this trailer wins trailer of the week, would you be comfortable showing this again at the end of the night and next week? Um, terms of service, I'm sorry. Cosmic me keeps asking what terms of TOS. It means terms of service, so it's against the terms of service to show certain things. And even though there's like stuff on YouTube and it's fine, and this is an over 18 channel, you know, we are scared of Twitch being like, you showed a boop. But, I mean, it was artistic and it was in the background, so we don't even know. So, a lot of people missed it, is what I would say. Yeah. Uh, that's, I mean, I would go with it. Bart, we're voting? I, I Let's vote on it. Yeah, sure. And that was called Evil Speak. And if chat votes this to the top... Panwall says have... definitely TOS. I mean, I'm going to defer to Panwall. But Panwall is super competitive. You know Panwall would... He already won. He's got, he's got nothing to prove. He's just adding to the content of the show. He would do anything for a point. Would you do anything for a point, Panwall? I'm just here. Also, there's 190 people here. Have y'all ever gotten TOS before? Trailer Boys, I mean? Um, no. I mean, 50 points is 50. If we're voting, uh, right? Hold on. I'm giving that two points easily. That trailer was fucking dope. That movie looks rad. I would watch that movie. Clinton Howard, fuck yes. That's fine. Uh, I'm going to give it one point. Really? Why? So it can't be trailer of the week. If chat votes 100%, did the poll disappear? What did it get? It got 100%? What? What? The poll got 100%. That means... Four points. Sixty-four percent. Grimward says all of us can't see the poll. Okay, we have to do it again. We have to waste the That's time and do that. Uh, what's it called? No, we need to move on. 
Okay. What do you want to? What do you want to? Um, it's your turn, and I have one more. All right. Yours to keep if you want it. God damn I love it. you, son. Sometimes I think we're losing him. He's just finding his own path. I think you're gonna like it here, Tom. I was fine back at home. You don't understand why we had to leave. <laughs> How would you describe the world in the future? Oh, he has an artifact. I thought he got assassinated. How would you describe the world in the future? What was dad working on before he died? The Bible. He was designing something magnificent. He said it would change everything. There's plans for you. They're here. You have some friends here. I don't seem to recognize you. Who are you people? That's the part you can't know yet. This was just part of God's plan. If God cared, dad would still be alive. It's safe to come out, Tom. How do you know my name? We're from the future. Where exactly am I? 1917. Moore's is an incredible amount of power from time travel. We're from the future. You're the to destroy right? the Bible before it's ever printed. What if we don't stop? We have to try. Get in! Hold on. We're definitely having to watch that, aren't we? It's the know, full it movies looked, on YouTube. It looks it really so shitty, right? Yeah. <laughs> yes. It, it it just it looked look so like like down the line shitty like I don't know. And uh, Gramps' shoes was like fully it, that was like not like down the line shitty. It was like that was like full in shit. This looked like like they're trying a little bit too hard. And what does uh, down the line shitty mean? I mean like like it looks like shitty, but like. You know, some people know how to set up some lighting and they know how to direct. Okay. You know what I mean? Straight like up, on- nothing to do with the theme. Um, yeah. Grim word. No, what? Technology like time travel. Time travel. Mm, this is fresh. Hey, did no one submit the classic film Click? No one submitted that. Well, said okay. no. That's one point from chat. That'll get one point from me. Eight. Yeah, I'll give it a point. I submitted that. Flanja. Fuck you, Flanja. Here's the thing. Flanja was at 88 points, and he just got three points. And I'm changing. Oh, you're changing. Here's the thing. The trailer I had already written down, so I'd remember to play it. I just looked, and it's a Flanja trailer. Oh, okay. So if it does well, it could be the end of the season. Oh. Interesting. Should I change to something else? Because you already did a Flanger trailer? Yeah, I changed to something else. Okay. Fuck you, Flanger. <coughs> It'll be saying, exciting. Not me. To watch next week, and Flanger could end the season next week. Okay. Ready? Oop, oh, shit. All right, this is my last trailer of the night. Uh, running 
out of Manus's I would submit stay tuned if it weren't submitted in a very recent Trailer Boys episode. Yes, that's exactly why we wouldn't have chosen it. But I appreciate that you remember that we already watched it. Every journey begins in the mind. A flight of imagination. A vision of what might lie across the universe. Or within the deepest regions of the subconscious. Dr. Edward Pretorius is about to embark on such a journey. I'm going to kiss you. Such easy prey. From the makers of Reanimator, from beyond. That makes sense. <laughs> yeah, that, guy, that guy is from the Reanimator, right? Acting! I don't know. There's one part where it that looks was cool, like. cool, but that was gross. to kiss. <laughs> Like this looks like a penis. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, you guys know uh, I got that picture uh, um, developed. I lied to Nate. There was film in the camera. I got the picture developed. Nate has a really weird looking penis. <laughs> that's yeah. what my penis. That's what pe That's what everyone's penis look like. I took a picture of it. Uh, what was it called? From Beyond. From beyond. From beyond. Oh. Yeah, that was oh. gross. It was like um, people that do practical effects and latex and stuff were like, let's make a movie. And they were like, more, more. They're like, yeah, more. Yeah, let's have all the latex be so wet. It'll all be wet. <laughs> and just slimy. Um, <laughs> Nate doesn't have a weird penis. His penis has a weird Nate. True. Um, you have that uses right? a, What's up, Sam? You have that t-shirt, right? I don't have a weird penis. My penis. <laughs> My penis has a weird me. Uh, what do you guys think of that movie? It looked gross. I wouldn't watch that, but I like the trailer. Two points from me. Gross trailer. Rex Bosworth says, I love the movie, but the trailer showed too much without substance. That trailer was gross. I'm going to give it zero just because it made me feel bad. All right. In your pants? Yeah. Four points. Going to Almobs. All right, Sam, do you have one more? All right, one more. Hey, let's go for it. Click? Are you going to watch Click? Why did you... Why did you... Problematic. Business reasons. Sure. What about the other reasons? Weird. Max Ren is a victim. I woke up with a headache. He has been exposed to Videodrome. I've been hallucinating for a while, ever since... What? Since I first saw Videodrome. I love His this brain movie is so already much. receiving video images. 
I think that massive doses of Videodrome signal will ultimately produce and control hallucination to the point that it will change human reality. Soon, his visions will coalesce and become uncontrollable flesh. Videodrome is seducing Max Wren. Please, come to me now. And Max Wren can do nothing to stop it. What makes you think I need help? None of our test subjects has returned to normality. Television can change your mind. Videodrome will change your body. Long live the new flesh. It will shatter your reality. Videodrome. Videodrome. Starring Deborah Harry. And James Woods, a shocking new vision from the creator of Scanners, coming soon to a theater near you from Universal Pictures. Yeah, that was rad. Was so hot. <laughs> um. Yeah, you know what? Um. Stub ba dub stub a dub says, "I love how they show no body horror in the trailer." Is that a common thing? I saw a lot of people had mentioned body horror in context. I've never heard of that before. Body horror raid. Really? You're getting a raid, Sam. Oh, are you? I don't know. I, I don't have a thing of. Anyway, body horror is a thing. Oh, it's a genre. Interesting. Interesting. Oh. I haven't heard of it. Chapo Trap House. Again. Again. With the Chapo Trap House. Hello. Trap House. Hello. Trap Trap House. Welcome back. We just watched a really cool trailer to Videodrome because I thought it was really cool. It had all this animation and stuff that wasn't in the movie. It was really interesting. Yeah. That was fucking rad. I mean, I put on Videodrome. Um, guys, Chapo Trap House just bought you some more trailers. I'm sorry. Oh, when, shit. Uh, Keppa Keppa, you uh, like title fight? Gotta keep it going. Uh, okay. Um, Should we watch that again for the Chapo Trap Houses? Yeah, let's watch it again for the trap, the Chapo Trap Houses. Okay. What would the Chapo, Chapo Trap House chat be called? The roommates? Chapo. Do you guys have a name? Does your chat have a name? This is Goobywood. Our chat is... Over here? Goobywood. The trap okay. houses? Trap houses? Long live the new flesh, indeed. Death to video drum. So, I... If you haven't Death seen this movie, Death. this is a really good Cronenberg movie. It's crazy. Death. The trailer doesn't Death. give Death. much away at all, sure. which is amazing. What about the other the, reasons? This is all weird. None of this animation stuff is in the trailer. Or is in the like movie. The stills in the trailer. Red is yeah. a victim. The I voiceover the he voice is amazing. I've been hallucinating for a while, ever since... What? Since I first saw Videodrome. His brain is already receiving video images. I mean, one of the reasons I like this show and I like reviewing trailers I is sometimes the thing we're really reviewing signal is, like, design, and you know? And not only does this movie have, like, a super cool reality. aesthetic, this fucking trailer has an amazing... Soon. But I mean, I feel with the Cronenberg trailers we have watched, uncontrollable like, flesh. It does a good job. Scanners was a really good trailer too. Please. Debbie Harry is so hot. Scanners is great. Come to Nikki. And Max Wren can do nothing to stop it. What makes you think I need help? None of our test subjects has returned to normality. That's two separate Television scenes. Can change your mind. Video who who would you rather kiss? Deborah Harry it in her prime your reality. or Hillary, Hillary Clinton now? Starring Deborah Harry and James Woods. A Debbie Harry. From the creator of Look how hot she is! That's crazy! To a theater really? From Universal Pictures. 
But Hillary Clinton, you got a story. But those emails, Sam. <laughs> True. <laughs> <laughs> but her emails. Debbie Harry doesn't even have email. You have to call her on the phone. Fuck. That's what I, I want to know. What kind of hot shit is in all those emails? <laughs> Nudes. Yeah. Okay. What's she hiding? Um, I want to see those emails. Man, I wonder if that drone. Is <laughs> There's a guy who who's convinced that like Hillary Clinton's hiding nudes. <laughs> uh, Debbie Harry, I say Deborah Harry is like her actor name, right? Brandon Cronenberg. Is that his son? I don't know anything about Brandon Cronenberg. Um, He's a director too. He's making movies now. Anything cool? Um, I think you. Um, never mind. I was about to talk about you know. Um, that thing. <laughs> what were we were talking movies? about the thing where we watch movies. What's the thing? Trailer Boys. No, uh, but yeah, I Plex. think you got. Yeah. Yeah. Plex is great. Um, <clears throat> I'm giving Videodrome... To, I mean, here's the thing. I love Videodrome the movie a lot, so it's not hard for me to give it two points, but the trailer was better than I expected it to be. And yeah. chat is oh. with me on this. 95% chat said yes. Three points. I, I would give that a hard two points. A hard two points? Would it be like this? Would it be like this? Would it be like that? You're, you're too deep. You're too deep. Pull it back a bit. Ready? There we go. <laughs> I did it. You can put your hand down. <laughs> uh. So what that means is I liked it so much I gave it two points. And I would go with more if I could. Sam liked it so much he gave it two points and he was like, I would give it more points if I could. But we could. So we hit the medallion. Join yeah. the seal, give it an extra point, five points from the Brown Brothers, three points from chat, eight points total going to who? Um Chai is making a poll. I don't know. Damn it. Right, I guess wait. I get the points. Damn it. Damn it. No, I know. It's way up at the top. It, it, this was an early one. Schwingles. There you go, bud. <clears throat> Good job. Good trailer. That's pandering. Fuck you. You know I'd like that shit. Okay. Um, I got one, Sam. You ready? So, if you're still here for the raid... There's a fun poll up in the chat. <clears throat> Who would you rather? Debbie Harry? In her prime. But you didn't put that. He, although, no. let's be honest. She's still hot as shit. Okay. Um... Because Gooby Wood is chat. It's it's a long inside joke. I'm sorry. I Anyway. You ready for another trailer, boy? Yeah. New York City. So the theme is phones or technology gone wrong. 22 million phones. A billion connections a day. Yeah, I think I've seen this movie. The Q, be reasonable. Oh, oh yeah, I've seen this movie. It's gotta be movie. reasonable. It's coming it's out. out. Hello, you the Q. You keep talking about Stu Shepard hey. thought he had the game wired. How's business? Tickets. Four for Britney Spears, right? No, you owe me, Stu. It's gotta be the night of the 18th, and I will deliver you a truckload of celebrities. But today, someone's got his number. Yeah. Don't even think about leaving that booth. Wrong number, pal. I'm aiming uh, at you right now. Can you feel uh, it? Kiefer Sutherland. Did you call me Stu? Who is this? Someone who enjoys watching you. I have a 30 caliber bolt action 700 with a handhold tactical scope. You mean like a rifle? At this range, the exit wound ought to be about the size of a small tangerine. You're bluffing. There's only one way to find out. 
Oh my God, you shot him. Look at all of the people shoot. He's the shooter! I've seen him! It wasn't me! Why would they think it's him? Because he's in a phone booth, and that's sketchy as hell. Yeah. The guy in the phone booth killed the other guy. Put down yeah. the gun and raise your hands. Where's the gun? You see a gun? I want to see you talk to William what? I didn't shoot anybody. Oh, that's a good point. That's a good point. Your side of it. That's if you tell him, I will kill you. I ain't got no side of it. You're in this position because you're not telling the truth. I'm in this position because you've got a gun. Come on, Stu. Don't you get the game yet? Confess your sins, Stuart. Hang, hang up. Stu hasn't been totally honest with you. His wife looks very angry. He said he wasn't married. Just leave her out of this! I have your wife here with me. This is exciting. You get to choose between them. Kelly, Pam, Bam, Bam! Get her out of here, all right? They're in position. Move, move, move. I give the orders here. Look, I'm sure we can work this out. It's do or die time. One, two, two, three. Hang up and try again. Anyone Damn it. I fucked up the fucking scene. That, that's a fucking... That's a... 2000s movie there. Yeah. <clears throat> Did you like it? Miss Keisha Nix yeah. cheered 10 bits. Bits. Ooh. It felt pre-9-11. It did. What year was that from? I think it's like just post 9-11. Mm. The trailer was balls, but the movie was baller. Hmm. Yeah, I, th I think the, I, I would agree with that. I remember the movie being better than it could be. I feel like we got the whole movie in the trailer. You disagree? Um, yeah, I, there, it wasn't a good trailer. Phone Booth was in 2002. Hmm. 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 Yeah, I didn't like the trailer. I liked the movie. I'm glad someone submitted it. Didn't like the trailer. Zero points for me. Did you know that he was in the Batman? Yeah. Egregious Fugap. Cheered 250 bits and said, Colin is too hot for that beard. Is that true? Is he too hot for that beard? Uh, doesn't he? He plays Richard Kind in the Batman, right? I don't know who Richard Kind is. You cut out. What'd you say? Google it. Google it? Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's pretty funny. <laughs> ah! Richard Kind, the Batman. Let's see if any. <laughs> oh, that's mean. Oh, that's really funny. But Colin Farrell is uh, the guy in that. That's fucked. That's hilarious. Good joke. The Batman huh. is so good. Miss um, Cashin, I miss Trevor. Yeah. What do I? <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, cool. <laughs> Uh, I didn't see what chat gave that for points. So I'm sorry, chat. They talked about Trevor and the Batman? Oh, now I gotta see it, Panini Sweetie. Alright. Uh, I'm getting loopy here. I, I think I got one more. Chat, okay. or do you... Do, 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 how many points did you give uh, Phone Booth? Uh, zip. All right, Jay Nihilist uh, submitted that. What did chat give it? Sorry, chat. 
Or do you want me to look that up? I, I can look. Can you do that? I don't even know how to do that. Go to the stream manager and go to poll. It'll tell you the last uh, option. That got 66% no. Oh, one point. Uh, ah. I'll give it a point. Two points to Jay Nihilist. Is Jay yeah. Nihilist in chat? I haven't seen him. Or her. You know. Oh, Miss Keisha Nix now cheers 11 bits. You know, if you really miss Trevor, you would cheer more bits. Yeah. Trevor uh, loved bits. Yeah. Just one thing I know about that guy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Almob uh, says, I just submitted a tech, a brand in Cronenberg that is tech gone wrong. All right. Sam gets to choose the last trailer. So it's up to him. I already oh, oh, chose it. Sorry. I'm already on the. Hold on. We're going back. Orion. Dynamite Jones. Let's get down. What about, about a year ago, we gave Hell this yeah, city Brian. World Cup. Ready for duty, partner? Why did he look away? I'd rather do. I think he's worked out. Because <laughs> he what? could. Have a seat. This is a bust. I don't like when they made Robocop all like but iridescent, a little like purple. Out there. I love this actor, Tom Noonan. This unit needs millions of dollars in parts. You see, Robocop's off warranty. He's one of mine. And I want him back on his feet. Frank oh. Miller directed this? This case was unusual. Yeah, he hated the first one, right? Someone to whom the prospect might even be desirable. Enough. Did you watch uh, Manhunter yet? Unit no, uh, I did get the director's cut, bro. You did get the director's cut. I did. Oh, we aren't planning to build a toy. I'm carrying in a fire pot to get the job done. I got good news for you. You're going to have a chance for immortality. With great pleasure, I give you Robocop 2. Why? Do you remember why they chose the bad guy's brain for 82 and 9's brain? Kane! Let's step outside! You! You're obsolete! Of all the brains to use, why use Robo Robot Cops and a Yourselves. <laughs> Lydia Petunia says, some of these trailers re really remind me I was raised a girl. <laughs> I don't really get it, but I love that comment. Um, Killbots, Chomping Mall, inspired Robo Robot Cop 2. Uh -huh. We already watched Robot Cop 2 in the sequel show. Look, I, we can't keep track of like stuff that had been watched a long time ago. <laughs> Watch the game was still good. It was good. I, I'll give it a point. I'm not going to give it two points, though. All right, I'll give it a point. Love Tom Noonan. Like, uh, he's such a creepy guy. He's a really good bad guy. Um, the my big beef with that is like one of the things that I think that is so cool about that movie is the whole thing with like the little kid mobster and they didn't have any of that in it that little kid mobster is in an episode of Star Trek The Next Generation and oh, I really it, it's it's on like all the time whenever I turn on like uh, Pluto TV Pluto TV sponsor us we love pluto tv you should have a yeah. trailer boys channel on pluto tv yeah uh and pluto tv whoever's programming the uh romance channel the decision to show the entire twilight saga last night was a really good one because i just had that on all night and <laughs> so good and i was like, was I was that like honor of the batman i i maybe 
Uh, but like I turned it on and it was like, oh, Eclipse is on. I, f- I forget what happens in Eclipse. And that, w- that was pretty fun. Uh, and then I ended up watching, uh, what is it? The part one and part two, Breaking Dawn, part one and two. Um, the music is so good in those movies. Like the soundtrack yeah. is ridiculous, like way better than it should be. Because I think yeah, they were just like, let us give Tom York a million dollars to make a song. Let like Bonnie Vare has a good song. Saint yeah. Vincent, no. like it was like like they were like, hey, let's get this director to make this like really like cheesy teen film and the director was like no like this one's gonna be like really cool like i'll show you we'll get like tom york on the soundtrack it's gonna be like actually really cool (laughs) i wanted to wear a team edward shirt to the batman premiere you should have i was trying to find like the worst like shitty graphic like do you remember the same i remember i was trying to get you in on this i was trying to get like uh, a really ridiculous looking like uh, Twilight shirt, and I couldn't find him. Oh, Josh Fadem just texted me if I was streaming. Does he want to stream? I think, I think so. Now I'll, I'll hit him up till next week. Maybe next week we'll have Josh Fadem on as a guest. That would be great, but we should tell him that the show starts an hour before it does start. Oh, yeah, true. <laughs> I saw him on Pemberton show and it was great except there was like Pemberton was just like waiting for him to show up for like 45 minutes and then there was like a good 20 minutes of tech difficulties and we already have our own tech di- difficulties you know so um, nobody indoctrinated you into testosterone films Lydia Petunia stick with us We'll show you what growing up with balls felt like. Can I read you my uh, my uh, uh, Twilight tweet I made last night? Yes. You want to follow me? It's um, at Saint twenty sixty nine. Yes. On Twitter, uh, and I wrote, "It's twenty twenty two. I'm not Team Edward or Team Jacob. I'm Team Bella." Amazing. Perfect tweet for 2022. Good job. Uh, um, Panini Sweetie says, Pants is by far my favorite Batman. I don't think I can say it was my favorite Batman movie, but it was my favorite Batman movie that actually was about Batman. Uh, I have a different take. So I thought he was an okay Batman. He was an awful Bruce Wayne. It was my favorite Batman movie, and I liked it because... I felt it wasn't all like Batman. I I don't know. I feel like you could have traded Batman out for like a detective guy and it kind of would have been the same story. So resident Stevel, you're not team Bella's dad. You're team Charlie. The guy's got a fucking name. Learn it. (laughs) All right, Sam, do you want to figure out trailer of the week? Do you want to? Yeah. The The poll was 50, 50. True. The poll for robot cop was 50, 50. I give it a point. That's two points. Ty goes to runner there. Um, I, I'm not going to give it a point because I feel we already did that movie. Uh, all right. So here's how that breaks. And wait, let me see. Robot Cop was Sagumist. Sagums. Already had a trailer tonight. Well, that's a three points. Okay. Uh, trailer. Of oh, no, a we, week, we got a couple seven points. We got a couple eight points. Yes. Hit oh, me. it works out. No, oh, this is perfect. Um, okay. All right, we got hologram man and videodrome. Both got eight points, max point. Uh, cellular circuitry man. <laughs> <laughs> and chopping mall all got seven points that was actually a good that that that's a good final five okay um somebody had mentioned earlier i'm sorry Ooh. about giving credit to whoever it was they said next week's theme should be movies with man in the title <laughs> 
Oh, that's true. I have another idea for a theme, but uh-huh. movies with man in the title is good. But also, I was thinking before they were stars. That's good. That could be a lot, though. That could be like a two show. Theme. Yeah, I think before, that's a good one. Like before they were like stars, like before they like really made it big, you know, like before they uh, broke. Yeah, before they broke. So, all right, let me ask you this. Do they just have to be in the movie or do they have to be the lead in or like a co-lead before, you know, like again, like there's uh, Airborne, was it called? Airborne and like Jack Black was in it, but he was like a tertiary character, you know? Uh, I I think we can probably do like enough like enough actors before like i don't know i mean it depends like it depends on like how big they are you know like jennifer aniston was in the leprechaun trolls which one was that right leprechaun. like i think that would be like a uh that would count under it and, and she like, was like some... a main character in the movie oh true true so that definitely counts what about uh, jack black and never ending story three he was the bully. I mean, I think it's the best to try and like aim for like main character grade trailers. Is Videodrome Canadian? Rex Bosworth says if Videodrome wins Canadian movies theme. I don't even uh, know if that's Cronenberg Canadian. Canadian. Evangeline Lilly was an adult hotline commercial. I'm watching that later. It's going to be movie trailers, so it's going to be movies, not just like commercials they were in. Okay, trailer of the week is ticking down. Got 48 seconds left. George Clooney and Attack of the Killer uh, Tomatoes. It works. The yeah. Sure. Be kind, Richard Kind. <laughs> How big of a star? Like, could we use Evil Speak for Clint Howard? Yeah, yeah, I would say that works. Clint Howard was in so much stuff, though. So, but Evil Speak would be great, besides for the obvious issue. With I see. Here's my issue, too. Evil Speak for me would have been in this list. Like, I thought Evil Speak was such a good trailer. Elliot Page was in Trailer Park Boys. I don't even know who Elliot Page is. George no, oh, Scott. Uh, Elliot Page, you know. They were in Juno. They were in Juno. Uh, before they transitioned. Oh, are we? Are you not allowed to say Ellen Page? No, I think you can say Ellen Page. They used to be named Ellen Page. Formerly okay. Ellen Page. Yeah. Formerly Ellen Page. Interesting. They were in Trailer Park Boys. Yeah, I was being careful not to dead name, but I mean, I think you can say that they. That was. We're talking about a movie they were in for mm-hmm. a month. Yeah. Uh, Video Drum shouldn't have won. The only reason it won is because the people that were in the raid saw it but didn't watch the others. Interesting take. Interesting take. Counterpoint, it's a dope trailer. That was a really good trailer. Uh, I would have voted for Hologram Man. Are the people in the raid still here? Do you want to see what Hologram Man looked like? I'm going to say... I'm going to say... What's up? Panini Sweetie, this this whole new face turn for the Panini brand is is pretty (laughs) fun. The Panini Sweetie face turn. Um, Hitchcock movie trailers one day? I mean, that's like too specific. I mean, we can't just be like, hey, old Steve Buscemi trailers. So what are you thinking for the theme, though? Could, could, before they were famous is what you're feeling? Yeah, before they were famous. And I mean, like, like I think it's, it's fun to like... Uh, um, not be like let, let's try not to like like police too hard 
I feel like you, you gotta give him room to play, you know? What do you mean? Like, sometimes you'll see people, like, submit movies and they're, like, clearly, like, off theme. Oh, because like, they're like, oh, I didn't know you guys did a theme. Yeah, but, like, I think sometimes, you know, like, if, if we see a movie that's, like, Chris, like, that, you know, cellular we were watching, if someone was like, well, Chris Evans had done this at that point. Oh, it's true, like, true, true, I got you. But it was Chris Evans had already Evans been in Fantastic Four at that point, so I don't know. Like he was kind of. It's like no, he, like Captain America would be the point of no return. No, possibly. All right. Before they were criminals, that's a lot more fun. A lot of OJ movies. Uh, that is a good theme too, though. Like. Um, Scandal, um, like scandal actors, where they like went to jail or were infamous? arrested. Infamous, infamous actors, infamous actors. But I mean, you know, it's probably kind of a bummer too. We're probably watching a lot of like people who like killed their wives and stuff. Okay, fine. Nick Rock Lobster says, could we do directors before they were famous? I'm going to say no. Because I feel this is more of like a visual thing, you know? Yeah, I think I think this will be fun. I think this will be fun. Uh, Warm up the problematic button. Boom. I got to put a problematic button on this scene. I don't have one here. Uh, All right, guys. I, this has been a long night for me, um, long day for me. I've been going since uh, noon, from since before that, since like ten, really. It's a long day of uh, Zoom. Long of Zoom. Yeah. Are you streaming later in the week? Do a Wednesday stream. Check out my Wednesday stream, the Muscle Show. Um, and are you gonna do Muscle Show stuff? Or are you gonna do Elden Ring stuff? Probably do some Elden Ring stuff, but. I don't know. It's still crossword puzzle on stream is super fun. Have you done that before? No. It's really fun. Because mm. it's like cooperative, you know? I was going to stream. Lydia Petunia says movies with non actors as leads. We have done musicians as actors <laughs> and wrestlers as actors before. Done something so close to that, yeah. Oh, Nick Cave is playing at the Shrine on Wednesday. Oh, that's cool. I was going to stream today. Destiny dropped a new raid, and me and some of my homies like to do it totally blind without like any prep or um, stuff, but we just didn't get to do it. So maybe we'll do it next weekend. Um, I'll probably stream Destiny at some point this week. Um, not into the Elden Ring later. Mad Libs are fun on stream. I, I should stream more this week. So if you do uh, want to watch random streams, I usually stream when I don't see anyone streaming and I'm like watching streams. So it used to be right here under me, but it's Nate Blackest. Guys who are dating women two decades, they're minor. What do you think, Sam? In real life, or like the actors? Actors whose names end with Berg. Tits out trailers. I like that. All right, I let me see. What should we? What should we? Should we raid a game? Sure. I'll play the trailer for everybody, and then when the trailer's over, we'll have a raid queued up. Uh, thank you, everybody, for watching Trailer Boys. This has been you, Nate, man. Sam, Sam, Pam. over there. We do this Sundays, 9 p.m. Please don't tell anybody about this show. The first rule... No, you should tell people. That's not a rule. I thought it was... You have to vote if it's your first night. Don't tell people about Trailer Boys. No, you should tell people about Okay. There's so many rules. All right. Thanks, everyone. 
enjoy this trailer called Hologram Man. It didn't oh, win. Name is Slash Dollar. It is a time right. of revolution. Bye. Come and join me in my cars. The California Corporation took Los Angeles away from us. Now I'm here to take it back. It is a time to choose sides. This is better work. Relax. I'm a genius. A rookie sent to stop him. How do you like your first day on the job, Dakota? Asking for a war, Mr. President. All Slash Gallagher wants is power. Isn't that what this council exists for, power? We built the buy-in. We feed the people. We control the crime. I send you out to stop him, and you say he's invincible, sir. I saw Gallagher walk through flame and gunfire like it was nothing. He killed half my men. A few must die for the greater good. That is the way of revolution. But revolutions are not fueled by ideals alone. Open the vaults. A direct assault, sir. There's hostages in there. We get Gallagher any way we can. Haven't you learned by now that every time we play this game, you lose? Better luck next time, buddy. But next time, he'll need more than luck. He will need time and the technology to transform himself into what the enemy has become. 